microphone check one two what is this welcome to the joe button podcast episode 251 i'm your humble and gracious host joe button here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends Maul is here, Parks is here. See, Maul, how, how smooth the intro is when you stop trying that stupid bullshit you used to do. Uh, hey, guys, whatever that was you tried for a few weeks. <laughs> Maul is here, Parks and his Levi's are here, Rory is here, Erickson is here, uh, Action Savantson is here, and me, Fedora the Explorer, is here, baby. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Magic to that. All right, let me get these drops out the way. No, 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 Joe Biden. No, 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 that was pretty cool. That's Thanks. The first that was time a good man. intro. Yeah. How, how, professionals. <laughs> for the rest of the podcast, we're going to talk about how unprofessional we are. <laughs> what officially makes us professionals at podcasting? Because you can't go to school. Like, you can't get a degree for podcasting. What makes you a professional podcast? I think Savon has a podcasting degree. Uh, you also don't have a mic, so we can't hear you, and that's not yeah, professional right. at all. And you, and yeah, would you get that at LIU Brooklyn? <laughs> <laughs> um, you're probably a professional podcast when one of your hosts' mo- moms is super cool with Jay Leno. Okay, because that's like a different swag. That's a different. Relationship. So Jay Leno that's like somebody validates popping the up, pod. popping up with the Ellen, the Ellen picture. Like that's like damn, you know, like you took a pic with Ellen. Like, wow, you seen Ellen? <laughs> okay, like, I don't have one. Do y'all have a pick with Ellen? I don't. Maul, do you I, have a pick I, with I Ellen? Not. Ellen don't go to the Bronx. Rory, do you have a pick with Ellen? <laughs> no, no Savon do definitely does not have a pick with Ellen. Erickson does not have a pick with Ellen. Ne- never See, met Ellen. We are, we're trash. Where's we're, Ellen from? We're trash. She's from New York. Don't tell me about us being so. uh, a successful podcast until one of us has a picture with Ellen. Okay. Goals. That's, that's our that's, new goal. That's the bar. You that's saying? Bar. Uh, are you saying we're degenerates? But Ellen loves our shit. Ellen, just play pump it up a few times. <laughs> uh, how's everybody feeling? How y'all feeling? You're, you're looking good. You're smelling good. Good energy. Good vibes all around, huh? Come on, talk to me. Talk to me. Where we at? Mental health is good. Maul, what's up? I'm good, man. Maul's sure. in his, his forest green bag today. Yeah. I mean, they can't see the matching top, but I see the brim to to the cargos. Yeah, you know. And to the tongue <laughs> of the kicks. Yeah, yeah you I know. see. I see it. Ooh. Definitely not dressed like we <laughs> about no to leave on back kicks. on the road tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so sick of yeah, you know. What if I don't know? <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell me, tell, no, give it to me. What, it what are you doing? You I, but I didn't point at anything. No, I was did, worried. Did, yeah. But but that count for me? Oh, you didn't see it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm right in front oh, of you. Yeah. Oh, you didn't see it. My yeah, bad. My bad, it. King. My bad, King. Mm-hmm. Uh, Parks, Rory, what, what's up? What's going on with you guys? Say, I man. already know he came over and, and, and attempted to bond with me in loneliness. Aww. Earlier, he said, "Yo, man, I know what you're going through. Miss my girl too." I was like, "Nigga, I didn't say nothing to you." <laughs> Yo, I feel you. Uh, we, we didn't even speak yet. Yeah, we, uh, uh, I mean, yeah, but it's like, oh, damn, this nigga's trying to bond with Yo, me. Yo, I kind of felt like Savon felt that way because I haven't gotten a, Yo, can you put me on the Palooza list text since the Philly incident? Hmm. And yesterday was one, and I was waiting for Savon to be like, Yo, you want to throw me on the list? And of course, because that's my man, I'll throw him on there. Never got a text. I didn't see Savon at the Palooza. Damn. So you only turn up like on the road. Like at home, you're like a very delicate thing. <laughs> He's delicate. Yo, yeah, don't, don't ever let, let someone delicate, call me delicate. <laughs> but why? See, that's the problem in, in, in amongst males in society. Uh, it's toxic. It, it, yeah, that, masculinity. Yeah, come on, parts. Give no, it no, it's not. Just yeah. don't call me delicate. You can't call a man delicate. <laughs> but why? But but sometimes del- delicacy is required. Yeah, but not from another man. Don't call a man delicate. All right, well, when was the last time that you showcased the ability to be delicate? Probably my nephew. The kids, man. That's always the cop. Yo, my yeah. grandma. Yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, I, yo, I hate more. Yeah. Yo, I hate more. And later, I'm definitely gonna... not going to be delicate around no, no grown fucking men. <laughs> you got me fucked up. No? No. You wasn't in the section being delicate? No. Nah. Can't Parks, no, you agree with one? Uh, maybe if I was like soldering something or something. Soldering, I can't. Yeah, like Solder. Surgery. Uh, Solder. Surgery. Uh, uh, Wait, all right. What? <laughs> Have I introduced this podcast? <laughs> no, enough of you guys. Enough. Parks knows enough how to solder? New, yeah. new rule. Parks cannot lead the topics. <laughs> how, do you, how do you become a professional solderer? 
I don't know what soldering is. It's, uh, it's, it's like putting, putting wires and yeah, putting wires there's, together. There's hot things Haley, involved. Of I know how to solder. Oh yeah, I guess I just, buffalo facts here. I just oh, figured engineers solder? now yeah. like everything's digital. You I, don't need to solder as an engineer anymore. Yeah, I had to solder a whole studio together last week. <laughs> I see solder. Um, solder. Rory, Rory's manager Binner. Right, shout outs to Benner, who I saw yesterday. I saw you, Benner. Is he delicate? Rory's manager. I don't no, know. Benner, I don't Benner's know. Not I don't know Benner enough to call. Well you and Benner have been on Benner. tour together. That's the funny thing. Yo, every time I speak to you, you tell me about a new member that was on tour. Emotional oranges, Benner. <laughs> I've been on tour with your whole little squad that you've acquired. What did, over there. What did Benner do on Look tour? Look at God. Benner, uh, Benner was uh, Locksmith's, Locksmith's manager. manager. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that was, ben, a, that was a good little run. Locksmith is Benner. Dope. Benner called called me up. On behalf of Rory, <laughs> no, and he I, didn't. And I gotta say, <laughs> all right, Rory, I'll let the lie get I off. Talk, like, gee, it's a, it's, what's the name of this podcast? <laughs> Yo, he called me up on behalf of Rory. I'm assuming you gotta listen more because this I'm involves listening. you. It involves uh, me, <laughs> fam. I didn't tell Benny to call my phone, and he said, "Yo," and I agree with him, so don't get mad at me. And he said, "Yo." I'll be honest with you. I'm looking at what's been going on with the podcast as of late, and I think Rory's just been holding it down and you guys have not so we need to change percentages around here oh, no, I, be, I feel them and I'll be honest with you Marlon Parks you made, made some good points man <laughs> <laughs> Roy no, wants his no. pub alright here's here's the thing what you want me to do it wasn't better calling I said I walked Joe's crib on Saturday I said yo <laughs> don't need my manager dog bump my shit up <laughs> he was, he was tired of talking to this whole me. shit he called me and said, told me to pump it up Okay. Yeah. Because you've been holding it down while I've been out here sad. Okay. Talking now, hip hop texting me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, my ball is always showing. Now, if I look, Brian texting me. <laughs> Just thinking, who's Brian? <laughs> that's, that's how Parks has been her. Oh, okay. Brian, I don't his know. neighbor. Brian and Benner. The, is it? Yeah, you're not actually, Brian and Benner. You know, you know Parks. B&B Enterprise. You know, Parks <laughs> man discussing his business as his neighbor and say, yo, <laughs> yo, my neighbor want to know what's going on over there. Uh, all right, so let's start episode 251. Only right that we start with an apology, man. That's right. Okay. Gotta give it to him. I'm starting out with an apology. 250 episodes. We are back. It's Joe apologizing for something Joe says said, with, which only says to Joe that Joe is responsible for keeping the edge as of late. So Ben, I gotta get off my phone. <laughs> you're, uh, you're right. Yeah, I need to apologize to anyone who was offended by any of my or our Kawhi commentary last week. Uh, uh, some of you said it was in poor taste, uh, and I recognize I recognize how it could be taken that way. Uh, we were talking in code, or I was talking in code, alluding to some things that are not important, and I totally did not see that outlook. So I do want to apologize if anyone was offended. Uh, I never thought that would be looked at as joking on death. I just don't play that way. I don't I don't joke on the dead, any of that. No need to get a long, drawn-out explanation. I certainly was not joking on the dead and would never want that to be taken that way. So let's issue an apology to anyone who was offended, as well as Kawhi, as well as Uncle Dennis. You're in the finals. We don't need any of this mess right now. My voice shouldn't be the one to do that. So let's start there. Uh, and we're all Raptors now because we want to see Golden State lose. Uh, I didn't. I don't know. I'm not taking it that far. <laughs> really? <laughs> I want Golden State to win. Uh, kind of. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yet. I just want go. I just want Toronto to win. I kind of want them game. to lose and see, break up that squad. I want to see a good series. The squad is breaking up anyway. I know, but I think a lot. Both of these really... squads are breaking up anyway. I don't think Golden State's breaking up. Golden State's breaking up. KD will not be a. Well, KD nation. might leave, but I think yeah, the I think the three, the three will stay. Yeah, but I don't understate. Kevin oh yeah, Durant. Draymond, Kevin. Clay, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Oh please, I'm done with that one. Uh, Why? It might be the one to win another one. Yeah, maybe, maybe, but it'll be more competitive, <laughs> which is what I want to see. So I'm not, I'm not angry at it. I'm not angry at it. I'm I just, just Toronto just needs to win at least one game. That's why I'm not mad at Golden State winning is to see the three do it again. You know what I'm saying? Without KD, I would like to see that. But I, ultimately, I want to just see a good series. I think Golden State is going to win it again next year. That's I don't, the funny I, shit. I don't, I don't, I don't start with sports. <laughs> All right. Well, we kind of right. started. We started, started with apologizing. apologizing to Kawhi. It's, it's important to yeah. do that when you're taking wrong or out of context. Yeah. No, nah, we we, we fuck with Kawhi, man. I, I, I can understand how that was taken the wrong way, but me yeah, too. Nah. But that's always nothing but the part nothing that but that love I, and respect for Kawhi and respect for his family. That's the point. I be getting confused at sometimes in cancel culture. Like, what, like, why are you canceling? If someone agrees with you, why are you canceling them? Fuck, fuck cancel culture. <laughs> like, you can't cancel. Somebody Same niggas trying to cancel culture. Got dirty bed sheets. Niggas at home with dirty bed sheets. <laughs> 
<laughs> so can- cancel your fucking they bed. They cancel their laundry? Yeah. <laughs> cancel that dirty mattress you're sleeping on. Now. How often do you change your bed sheets? Once a week. Yeah. Yeah. On average. Yeah. Every Sunday. That's your day? Yeah. Okay. How many spare bed sheets y'all got? Tell the truth. I won't judge y'all. I only got five. Yeah, I got like three or so four. So when I get down to the no, fourth, it's on, time to wash. On. All right, somebody lying here. Somebody got, I'm not, somebody I'm, got I'm one in truthful. the pop. So, yeah, come on, give it to me. Give I got it to two. <laughs> yeah, so, say, somebody's one so running two to the... Yeah, somebody's no, no, running to the... No, 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 no,
<laughs> yeah, I don't know why Moe hates me so much. Joe man. was acting like a gargoyle the whole night. He was, oh, yeah, he was, he was perched up the on, the, on the high yeah. shit. Squatting. Acting, yeah, acting like Daredevil once again. <laughs> Waiting for imminent danger to pop off so he could <laughs> swoosh down and save the festival. <laughs> Fedora? Yeah. Fedora like, and Yo, Toe. Yeah, yeah. Y'all seen Fedora the Explorer up there? <laughs> Fedora the Y'all seen Fedora the Explorer? Listen, man. And don't say I was poached anywhere. You were. Somebody said that, but don't say that again. <laughs> I, was, you was, I wasn't poached. Yeah, I was, you, you, I were, was, you were in squat position, looking over the entire party. I, I, hands I, on his, your hands, hands were yeah. Your hands I've, 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 number one, I've never been in squat position. Number two, I told you I've always got this bad bitch Joe joke running a few too many weeks now for my liking. <laughs> we're called, I've never are gargoyles I, I, bad I, bitches. I, I, I no, I know. Do you want no, me to call you a bad bitch? No, that no, don't tell me I've been in squat position. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in squat position. I never even took gym class. Like. I you never went to spin class? No. None, no. Spin I class. Never did hot, I never did hot yoga. No. I, wasn't, I wasn't one of them. Ooh, let's take the yoga up a notch and do it hot. <laughs> no, no. I never did none of that shit. So fuck you. What about goat yoga where they let the little baby goats jump on you like... That's lit. Wait, where, where they do that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, more. Google, it's a thing. Go, no, it's go, not. Goat yoga? I swear to God, it's a thing. Yeah, nigga, I swear to God, it's a thing. Goat yoga is something totally I swear different. to God, they have baby goats running around in class. They jump on you like... Stand on your back. Help where, where is this in Guyana? No, I think this is in California. <laughs> I'm serious. Y'all think I'm joking? It's not New York. Well, no, it might I be. No, I know they I'm got some shit it. like that at the canyon. You can order a goat while you're running or something. Fam, <laughs> Google Yo, it. order, order a goat. Hey, and yeah, the, and the goats, hey, and the goats a baby shitting. one. They rich out there, man. Let but, me get a little goat. But goat shit is like little pellets. So they, they be running around just shitting in the yoga class. It's crazy. Know Jennifer Aniston want a goat running next to her. Of course. Yeah, come She's on. Got a whole backyard. Yeah, goat yoga. It's a thing. Okay, it's not. Well, it's not a thing for me. You should try it. You I'm might not, like it. I'm not going to try. You're into animals. I'm, like I'm not. I am into animals, and I'm and not going to try. Yo, it. Little baby goats kind of look like dogs. We were talking about Duce Palooza. Um, <laughs> some, and some, your perch. Something of the sort. Yes. How was the perch? Uh, I had good a, view. I had a good time. Yeah. That view was not that good. No. No. The one right under that one. Is you didn't do the Indian well, style stage this time. When you say view, what what are you attempting to look at? People. See, I didn't care to look at but so many people. All the way up there You kind of feel like You're in the next building Peeking over into some shit That's exactly uh, okay. what I love to feel like I'm not going all the way to Brooklyn To peek at anything <laughs> You want to be in the trenches I got, With I got the people there, I got, I'm not in the trenches But I want to feel like I'm in the I event. got there right. rather quickly It looked like a chaos down there I felt It's not that bad It looks like that But it's not It's it, not that it's bad It's not when you're traveling The way that you're traveling But I did I did see what section I want next year though Okay I'll let that, you know right. That, couple, that <laughs> damn Rory throws a great party when you're planning your next year's sex. <laughs> wow, wow, man. I Hold up, man. Let did me, a walkthrough? Let me hit the round of applause. I see where Duce is headed, <laughs> man. Where is it nah, headed? It was, Tell me. I, I, I see where it's headed. It was, a, it was a great night, man. I see where it's headed. It's great. Don't YG you worry. YG was great. Ferg was great. I see where it's headed. I had did a, Ferg do a whole set? No, nah, he popped out on YG's set. Okay. To two records. But, nice. you know, the ones that are great for that type of party. Yeah. Yeah. yeah New Ferg, level? Yes. New level live mm-hmm. is yeah, incredible. Ferg, Ferg, Ferg was really good. He did that it. shit in Japan one time me, and shit went. Oh my god! Shit. Bruno Mars <laughs> was not there. Let me give it up for Rory, man. No, this is just uh, background music while you tell us what happened because y'all was lit. <laughs> <laughs> we were lit, man. Tell us. <laughs> no fights. A lot, on, lot of beautiful carrot magic was in the air. A <laughs> lot of beautiful women. I, I checked the hashtag. <laughs> They was in you there. You checked the beautiful woman hashtag? Roy mm-hmm. texted me and said 24 karat magic is in the air. <laughs> like, nigga, you can't get off my phone. I'm 24 coming. karat like, magic you, is in the yeah, air. That's trying to give me hype. A nigga texts me that I think he's in trouble. Like, uh, somebody got to get the cops. That was a safe word? Yeah, yeah that's like a, that's like, that's like the, the fucking phrase. Like, oh shit, he's in imminent danger here. But wait, dudes trying to get dudes hype is funny because it happens, but you still got to try to do it subtly. 24 karat magic. Yeah, I'm like, that's not the one you go Roy, with. I'm on the way already, man. <laughs> and then you try to joke to make yourself not sound corny Joe was like yo what's, what's it look like in there I was like yo it's a Zufi <laughs> first of all he said that I no, I really no, 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 he said no, no, 24 karat magic not, didn't. That really, the Zuvi part happened. Yeah, no, Zuvi is because we know it's all in jokes. But <laughs> I, didn't know, I didn't know that. I want to know who. I didn't know that. I yes, want to know. Who, can no, we I find didn't. out who the first nigga to use Zuvi was? <laughs> Rory. And then can we whoop his ass? <laughs> it's Rory. Zuvi. I remember the movie. Well, not, but more everything was a movie. Think about it. Like the party is a zoo, but it's also a movie. So if I'm trying to save time because it's lit, you gotta hurry up and just Which, get your the zuvi. Right, where yeah. would you gentlemen like to begin today? <laughs> the zuvi. Yeah, the zuvi. We're, we're, no, we're not starting at the, the zuvi. Yeah, you were part of the zuvi. No, I wasn't. He was. He a was zuvi. a cast member. He was a zookeeper. Zuvi. <laughs> <laughs> 
I said, I'll try to say it with Park. <laughs> hey, what y'all say? I didn't, I didn't hear you made a funny. <laughs> you made a funny. Park said you were the zookeeper. <laughs> and it's only fitting because you were like on the outside of the cage. Never saw the movie. <laughs> never saw the movie. No, it's an occupation. <laughs> oh, never been to the zoo. You've never been to the zoo. No way. This nigga been to the zoo. Who are you? Definitely been to Jersey City. It's definitely been to the zoo in Jersey City. Jersey City is the zoo. What are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about, nigga? You've been in the middle of the zoo. I was I raised was, in the zoo. Yeah. I just keep trying to start the podcast. <laughs> so I've just, never been to the zoo. That's been all to I Jersey do City. Is figure out where you want to start. Yo, don't try to get me back because I said you bought bottles at Duce. Don't do that. I didn't no, buy don't, bottles, don't do that, But get off me. Because nah, I feel a lot of heat coming okay. from your he way. Was, he was gifted get bottles. Get off me. But, but if you are going to buy bottles anywhere, it would be there. Because yeah. you don't want to keep walking to that bar. There's no way to I just sis. didn't know that you were the buy bottle guy now. I didn't buy a bottle though. Nah, my I people was, I was with, they drink. Yeah, I don't drink. Y'all, y'all, and they didn't. They wasn't gonna keep going. And I nah, definitely wasn't gonna keep texting Rory. Hey, can nah. you <laughs> Bring send me a shot? four cups of Duce over? No, I'm not. Nah, doing that they shit. held it up. I see. And then once I seen with Lenny, and I was, I was like, oh, this is <laughs> they all smell. All the of them smell the bottle. I, 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 saw, I, I saw the decision <laughs> being made. I saw I, yeah. I saw that side huddle going on. Yeah, niggas was trying to figure out where to sit. You know, yeah, figure it out. For the ninety seventh time, where would y'all like to start? Let's start with Dick Yelp. <laughs> Please put some context to that. <laughs> and you guys get mad at my segues. Yeah, I thought that was a great segue. I, well, I, think I thought that, so too, Mark. I think. <laughs> well, well, that is kind of Benner's point about you and Maul that we kind of keep talking about. What's what? that? That's <laughs> Benner's point. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> look, look what these two. Are. No shit like it. Benner's Ma. point. <laughs> yeah. You are gonna hear from Hop? Look how fast a nigga can create beef. More. No. Benner didn't say none of this. I know he didn't. I'm, no, I'm no, talking no, about you. I know him what a I'm more than positive. Benner didn't say anything that you're saying. He said. I never believe when you say that. More. You are not the Segway guy in the podcast. I am the Segway guy. Okay. I'm Se- telling you. Segway that was a great Segway. Segway us right in the dick. Yo. Yelp. So give dick it, yelp. Give it to me. <laughs> give well, me. Give well, me some dick yelp. Well, I'm not. I don't have the information that you guys have uh, on Dick Yelp, you but know? you guys seem to be really anxious to talk about Dick Yelp. I'm not. <laughs> so I <laughs> no one here. Screen. I have no anxiety this, about this Dick Yelp. I set the screen. Listen, I set the screen. Shoot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all I can't Maul, shoot for yo, you. All Maul does is come in here and shoot down hours of free production. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would yo, love any to. plan y'all had? <laughs> Let me ruin that right now. Yeah, fuck all that pre production bullshit. So, Dick right. Yelp. Yo, that list thing. y'all got? Yeah, fuck that list. Go Yoga. And, any yeah, setup, yo. any backstory. Yeah, man, fuck all that Let's shit. Let's just assume all yeah. million, all the million people listening know what Dick Yelp is. <laughs> no, we're about to tell them right yeah, now. Rory, break it down. But we're just telling them what we're you about want to me talk to break about. down Dick Yelp? <laughs> Yeah, how did you come across Dick Yelp? You're the insider. What's the name of Maul and Parks' crew? Because they, they have they, a crew. Do they have one? Yes. <laughs> yes. When they don't hate each other, they're in we, unison. We never, <laughs> never, me and Parks when have they, never hated each other in life. I'm telling you, we got to figure it out. Maul and Parks, Parks and Maul. Is, is everyone updated on the names? Have the fans gotten Parks and Rec yet? Parks I think that might have been like a tour oh, thing. Oh, Maul is Rack. <laughs> Maul catches wreck. <laughs> I'm not wreck. <laughs> Rory, relax, honey. I'm not. When Joe is rage, you're wreck. No, I'm not wreck. Wreck. wreck and rage. No, no, you, you no, you definitely wreck. Don't try to deflect, nigga. It's y'all two. He's wreck with you. He's wreck with you. Not with me. He's Maul with me. He's wreck with you. Parks Yo, and wreck. Wreck and you're rage. <laughs> yes. You. Don't add on to it. <laughs> nah, don't don't run away from the name y'all love. Still mad yeah, name, Wreck and Rage. Uh, we, we, what were we talking about? Stream? What's a stream? <laughs> <laughs> what is a true What is a true value of a stream? Yeah. Like, what, you really, what, what do you is, think about it? Yeah, yeah. And where do the streams go? Like, <laughs> it's data gate. There's after the data. <laughs> <laughs> Zuckerberg, yeah. we need answers. Wait, see, y'all, y'all laughing, but this is why I get mad every time I gotta hit the group chat and say, "Yo, we're re- recording later than usual." Because this is what happens. I'm just saying, yeah. man. What, yeah. All right. So for the, the algorithms, <laughs> they're, they're controlling us. So for the, the creators. <laughs> They're stealing from the creators. Here's an idea. Let's tear down our own shit. Exactly. (laughs) Hey, guys, we've been winning for too long. (laughs) 
Look, listen, see what happens? Full of shit. We gotta come clean. Listen, listen. Wait, we can say Vaughn over there. Yes, yeah, yeah. Need <laughs> yes. to know it's coming. Need to know we'll replace. <laughs> all right, an- all right. When, enough. When Spotify like, drops them. Hey, I got another podcast. Dick yo, yo, yo I feel like dick yo. When this gets out of hand, I feel like it's my responsibility to bring it back in. Oh, so man. enough of these shenanigans. And how do you feel about <laughs> dick yo? <laughs> First now, of all, I need, shit. me and Rory have been deep diving all week. I can't <laughs> wait to hear this. Wait, hey, you, hold on. This I can't wait to hear. doing a lot of dick yo. Joe and I have not been deep diving into dick yo all yes, week. Yes, we have. But like, yes, we have. I have so many questions about dick yo. We, me too. So, yo, so six is leaving like, like stars? Like, yo, that nigga We shouldn't be talking about this. We <sighs> should not be promoting this fucking horrible platform. <laughs> that's built to destroy us? Yes. Yes, I guarantee you all four of us will be on that Summer Jam screen now that we just promoted this shit. Oh, man. Damn, dude. You can't put Joe on Dick Yo because <laughs> Joe's, com- Joe's pickup line is my Dick Yo <laughs> review. Like, I lead with yo. the bullshit. Like, yeah. yo, yeah. You see what they listen, wrote? not going to be too much fun. <laughs> yo, so when you, but, walk, when you walk into the establishment, yeah. but, ooh, usually the lines are a little long. Yeah. Ooh, the movie I'll pick for us to watch. <laughs> ooh, it'll be yeah. a small Smoker. The customer service isn't great. <laughs> the cues yeah, yeah. are nice though. It's usually very irritable <laughs> yeah, when you yeah. try to place your order. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, le- I'm leading with the dick yo. Yeah. So, all right, come on, let's get into it. Enough of the jokes. Don't clown me and Rory. Well, I don't, I don't have do. the information right. that y'all have. So y'all tell me, Rory, Rory. Dick yo is. Tell them all the way you told me that day. <laughs> that day. <laughs> dick I was blown away, and Rory broke it down. I was like, damn, he killed that review. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Yelp is a Twitter account that is exactly what Yelp is. For those that don't know Yelp, it's a review service, except this time it's just for Dick. And what these women do is they DM Dick Yelp with a review, they at the individual and place a picture. And then the person then takes a direct private message <laughs> and then puts it on a public timeline. Is there stars involved? Like... No, so they take system? a picture of like yeah. you like well wait, first of all they're in the de- development stage Bart, oh, got a rating system for our dicks no nigga <laughs> that's how Yelp works are you trash or not <laughs> yeah <laughs> word that's all women got no, so wait trash. are they using like a dick pic it's or like you. a picture of you no it's just like your ad it's you they put your, your ad name oh, it is you that's corny I'd like to think it's illegal <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to think you think so you wish <laughs> It's not where, illegal, buddy. Where is Lisa Bloom when you need her? <laughs> <laughs> where is Lisa yeah, Evers? Who, who will stand with us? Lisa Evers only trying to get somebody in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> where is Lisa Evers? Yeah, Lisa Evers pop up right in the scene of the crime. Takashi. Like, oh shit, it's Lisa Takashi. <laughs> Nah, but Lisa, Lisa will bring up some shit like everyone forgot about. It. Like, damn, I was wondering what happened with that case. No, I, but I'll be like, damn, why you bring that? They yeah. forgot about yeah. that one. No, Lisa be bringing some heat to Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to tell you, Molly's man. <laughs> you did? <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, wait, I forgot about this nigga too. Street. Wait, hold on. Is that Googleable? If that's a word? Yes. I did not know no, he was on streets it, doing a Molly yeah. special. <laughs> what? You was on street soldiers doing a. A Molly special? What? Get to, I nah, swear to God. I gotta Google this shit. Yo. Now. That was part of the rebrand. <laughs> that was step one. <laughs> Come clean. Just admit to the Molly. Like, yeah, Come man, you clean. Know, it's rough. It's rough. He was on the couch like, yeah, man, you know, got a hold of me. <laughs> what? If Lisa Evans don't get out of this house, then. <laughs> I just been trying to start this podcast <laughs> for the last thirty five minutes. Listen, fellas, and so Rory's googling things. So Dick Yo, I'm you're so lucky I can't find it to plug this yeah, fucking cord in. Yo, so Dick Yo, back. <sighs> so they're not using. I thought they was like like leaking like like dick pics that you send to. to oh, no, that's an everyday thing. Y'all could give me trouble. What'd you yeah. say about yeah. Molly? The fucked up part. I love Lisa Evers. No, I trouble. love Lisa too. Nah, nah, get off the now get off my boat. He wanted to rid. He wanted Lisa to rid of my childhood, Molly. man. Uh, that's what he was on. Yeah, like get. All the, the Molly, Molly out of America. Wow. I did. And then let me know what time the boat leaves. <laughs> <laughs> so I can meet it on the other side. Yeah. Corey thought he was so slick deleting one number off my Molly dealers. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to remember that number? <laughs> One number. It was only a six. So I had a six. One number. Like, yeah. what's that song? Yeah, yeah. You had to see me trying to call the fucking Molly dealer that week. I'm like, why is it busy? A busy why signal. Why is it a fax machine? I, mean, I looked at that number. And I said, ah, that damn Corey trying to save my life. Nigga, fuck you. Let me kill myself. Yeah, give me these Mollies. God damn it. 
I still owe that ch- chick some money too. Because of, because of Corey, she don't know Corey did that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, she Blame got. It. I mean, it's over for Molly. Yeah, I hope so. Nigga can't find Molly if <laughs> you try. You say she'd be all right. You say it's over for Molly. The old good so Molly then, was good though. Oh my god, man! You can't find Molly nowhere anymore. Man, I'm gonna <laughs> muster up Yo. the courage to give him one good. <laughs> I'm crying at the double XL headline. Joe Budden takes a stand against Molly. Try to tell. <laughs> takes a stand. That nigga was looking for it. He was trying to he was find at the it. Molly stand. Yeah, it was a it was a shortage, and he was doing that. That's a roll call. Like you, yeah, if y'all got it, <laughs> that was a roll no, call. Joe you, yeah, y'all got it. Yeah, they changed no, Joe need it. No, Joe need it. No. <laughs> they changed my drug dealer's number. <laughs> a nigga changing your drug dealer's phone number is <laughs> <laughs> how, you change, how you change the drug dealer's number? Like, nah, fam, he calling you too much. This is an intervention. We're trying to save shit. his life. <sighs> so dick yelp. <laughs> yeah, no dick yelp, man. Damn, dick yelp is crazy. <laughs> We're going to end up on I'm dick yelp. I'm going to end up on, right I'm, I'm end up on dick yelp. I can tell. Yo, yo I'm, st- I'm starting to think the success of this podcast is only built on... The, my expense, like just laughing at stupid. Like, what do y'all do? Y'all hear the things y'all saying? No, that's me? pretty honestly, funny. Honestly, I'm, I'm gonna watch the interview because there's no. some gems on there. I'm guarantee you, Joe was in his political bag. Mm. He probably had on one of his good you don't sweaters. Need to go back and watch me take a stand against Molly's. No, I do. That's Lisa definitely Harris. happening. <laughs> See, that's the shit you need a girl for. That's just fun when you got a girl. That's some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> laughing at niggas. My friends are making fun of me. <sighs> it's fun laughing at your niggas with your girl. <laughs> Look at Rory trying to laugh. No, I'm still trying to find... Rory, we're doing a podcast. <laughs> Put the fucking laptop away and back to what would you gentlemen like to start you with? Dick dick yo. That video. Oh, dick yo. Okay, so nobody's worried. But what would you be worried about, though, honestly? Oh, no, 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 I've been to Australia. I don't need Dick Yelp to tell me. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's like, yeah, get the fuck out I, of here. I think women... I think niggas should go on there. Yo. <laughs> I think we should go on there and just tell about ourselves. <laughs> yo, 12 minutes of fun. Uh, yeah. Two positions in You got to get ahead three, of this thing. Three mo- if yeah. I'm drunk, yeah. maybe 14 minutes. Yeah, you got to get ahead of this thing. Just go out there and trash yourself. That's all. Well, no, I think women really think that we care about our performance more than we do. Or maybe that's with an age thing. Uh, when don't. I was younger, I cared. But I don't care now. <laughs> the older you get, trust me, you don't give a fuck. That shit is like, eh, whatever. You got more important shit to talk about. <laughs> you be ready to get that nut off and just keep, continue watching what you was watching in the first place. Yeah. At least me. Let me speak for myself. I don't know where y'all at with it. I, I thought I told you weren't, weren't allowed to speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I'm yeah, not well, allowed to speak for myself. <laughs> Yo, why does this guy keep breaking all the rules? All right, man, fuck it. Fuck yourself. it, man. I'm not saying Stick nothing. Stick to the docket. Dick yo. Dick yo. <laughs> Dick yo. Dick yo. Take no, it away. Boy, st- stupid ass me and Rory thought we had a bright idea. Like, oh, they want to get us. We'll create the pussy yelp. <laughs> so Rory searches it, and it existed already. And then... Uh, then we got distracted because then Rory got glued to all of the pussy yelp reviews about chicks. That's funny. For re- research for the so I wasn't, I wasn't trying to inquire. Pre yeah. deep any dive. Of that. Relax over you there. Spill the tea? But I did love the difference. Like the, the dick yelp from women, it was like paragraphs. It was like how they started out, like the first date, how he got into his shit. <laughs> To pussy help, yo, her mouth is trash. <laughs> One sentence. <laughs> but that ain't got nothing to do with. Pu- that's, the, that's the funny mouth shit. Mouth yelp. Yo, her mouth is trash. Her <laughs> mouth yelp. Like, yo, just the difference between men and women was so mouth so cut yelp. dry between oh, pussy yelp and that. I got mad shit to say on mouth yelp. Oh my god, is there mouth yelp? <laughs> we found the lane, guys. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Let's play. Uh, wait, Let's this, get it before someone oh, takes it. Let me, get, let me get this right. Save on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me create the account. Yeah. Lock down the the mouth Yelp at please. Please do. Mouth Just Yelp. quickly while Joe finds this uh, this no. next song, there is another headline from that same topic. Uh, quote: Popping a Molly can make you feel happy and sexy. <laughs> Joe Button. <laughs> Rory. <laughs> I hear you. Did you you're, feel, you're on a microphone. <laughs> Did you feel happy and sexy? <laughs> All right, I'll stand out on my ledge. And y'all was talking about bad head. I'll give it a go at being misogynistic and getting canceled real quick. <laughs> yeah, chick ain't never go to get y'all like some, some bad bad head and 
<laughs> Told her to chill. <laughs> Give her a little pat pat on the head. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> nah. About to tear that pussy up. Yeah, St- word. Stop what you're doing. <laughs> yo, you're doing too much. Yo, it's a lot right now. <laughs> oh, yo, you're doing too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're killing it. All right. Yo, I'll, the bus ooh, out I only need three seconds of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm going to come too fast. Since when you ever needed three seconds ahead? <laughs> oh, I'm about to bust right now. You better chill. Ooh. Yo. Niggas. <laughs> Wait, give it a chick a pat pat on the top of the head. Niggas to love of lying. Trying to tell yo, you're not even ready. <laughs> but niggas love lying about some wag heads. I'm like, yo, you keep doing that like that. I'm a, I'm a bus. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm nowhere near. Those the teeth bus. are not going to help this. <laughs> yeah, I want yeah, you to get I, off of me. I feel that bus going all the way back into my fucking stomach or wherever it comes yeah. from. And first of all, I knew this was going. I knew it was going to happen when you faced the blunt on my couch right before we went yeah. to my fucking room. But wait, Cotton God, mouth, see y'all. dry ass mouth. <laughs> Cotton drink some water. Word. <laughs> Bitch ain't had a sip in hours. I've been with you since five. Now you want to throw a dry mouth. ass mouth on Word. me. Bitch, get some Fiji. <laughs> you, had, you had cognac for lunch and a blunt for dinner. Get away for from real. my dick. God. <laughs> God damn. Cotton mouth ass. Uh, mouth yelp. Listen, but this is why I was saying to Rory... Uh, Damn, man, I hope we don't get canceled this podcast. The other <laughs> fucked up thing about getting canceled is, like, I thought our last podcast was great. And they just tried to, like, you don't even know when it's coming. Like, damn, you be feeling Gosh. proud of yourself when they come try to get you. Yeah, then, then refresh and see 99 plus mentions. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, shit, like, what God, did I do? God damn. Uh, but what I was saying is, man, I was telling Rory, uh, all the reasons we're talking about is reasons why I'm mad the dudes don't have a, a period line. <laughs> Like, see, we have to make, we have to conjure up the biggest crap of bullshit or pat somebody on the top of their head (laughs) (laughs) when we want them to get off of us. We want them to stop. Chicks just, uh, yeah, Yeah, damn, just, just came from the bathroom and. Yeah, it's here. (laughs) It's here. Yeah. (laughs) And then that, that that niggas like oh yeah yeah let's turn the TV on. I mean if you have sense, <laughs> yeah, all right, then, if you yeah. have sense, then, then you so then you pull a card or, or, and be like all right so. <laughs> Rory, <laughs> yo, or, lay a towel or, down. Red, 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 red light, or, no, no, dirty no. white boy. That's what you <laughs> yeah. say. No, I got a no. towel right here. Just, no, just lay on no, this. No, 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 <laughs> fellas, no, Jesus. Yeah, no, fellas, no. <laughs> what do y'all want to start with? <laughs> See now, now my segue is looking Ida. <laughs> I said, "Dick yo." The funny shit is when you go to lay the towel down, like Rory is talking about, but it's the towel from like a whole different chick. Like, oh, all right, joke. well, all right, no, hold on. No, I never did that. I yo, never I was, did t- that. I was, I never did that. Just trying to be compelling. Just trying to be. Down about I never did that. Talking about fucking chicks on their periods. Okay, if listen, you don't man. Wash the towel. The baby got into a little. The baby got into a little scuffle out there. Not sure if you've seen it. <laughs> all right. I'm gonna get a nah, hold of this what's, podcast. What, what's, what's your period excuse for the guy? Because like, like we can't use tired. There's like, nothing. I've, no, I've tired been, doesn't work. Been no. tired for tired six months. Because if you say you're tired, then like, yo, this thing, his, his dick is wild. Tired just make her jump on you more, and now you got a fucking clothesline <laughs> off you. <laughs> yo, you know what I hate when women reply to that? If you're tired and don't want to fuck, I'll do all the work. No, <laughs> no, you won't. Because you never get will. off me. You they never, never will. will. No, oh, it's the man. other thing. Rem- They'll never do all the work. No, I remember. No, no, that's not necessarily true. We just not sexy enough anymore to meet the women that are willing to do all the work to us. <laughs> that might be true. Like, yeah, that's I, I remember those days where like chicks would do everything for me. Yeah. <laughs> Today is like Meh. not so much. No, no, they're not doing very much for me. No, no. no. <laughs> wait, till, wait, till you see my mouth yelp reviews. <laughs> this is Joe. <laughs> I am super angry about a few of these young harlots. <laughs> I'm crying on the anonymous this page, is, Joe. You start with. Yo, this is Joe. Just want to be Joe clear. Joe 4703-9642. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you feel putting your credit card info on Cam Zona. All right, Joe. Uh, but wait. Uh, uh, Yo, I can't believe y'all think it's really your Cam Zona. Delete, like delete. It's, it's not Joe. Uh, Derek, but uh, wait, wait. Oh, no. It's not Derek. It's not fucking. Then, then you hit submit, and it says, your name does not match his <laughs> debit card number. No, you hit submit. They can tell how you have used that email. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I forgot my password. Y'all right, some sick niggas. All right, listen, recently at a Louis Vuitton store in Charlotte, <laughs> the baby didn't seem to be playing many childish games. <laughs> <All right. laughs> 
He wasn't for the play play. <laughs> <laughs> the baby was acting rather grown. <laughs> acting like a man. All right, I'm thinking of... The, no. ba- the baby no. grew up at the Louis store. <laughs> <laughs> the baby went to the Louis store and grew up. Coming of age story. <laughs> <laughs> he grew up at the Louis store. <laughs> No more diapers. Uh, somehow the baby was 2G in the Louis <laughs> store. Child's play? Question mark? <laughs> Yo, what's Find wrong? out how. Coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, let's come up next. No, let's take a break. Let's come up next. Let's come up next. Let's come up next. Let's come up next. next is coming. Don't you move. Don't touch it down. Blah. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. <laughs> All right. All right. Too much suspense. All right. Rory's going to get punched in the face first, and then I'm making my way to say Vaughn for some of the disrespect that I've been hearing during the commercial break. <laughs> what did you say to me, Rory? The headline read as a quote from you. I thought we had left this. I thought we were no, going to come. You I guys wanted to back up. I was I chilling. I was on Child's Play. I, I was asking for a little clarification. That, that Molly yeah. makes you feel... Happy and sexy. <laughs> I mean, in Joe's defense, it, it does. But that's how I know Joe was still high. Because anytime <laughs> I came down from Molly, I didn't feel happy or sexy. Oh, yeah. Well, the, the, the come down. The come down is like terrible. A come down. You feel like a We're zombie. We're talking about the high, not the low. <laughs> <laughs> but I would have never said that had I not been high. I didn't say high. that, Rory. It I was didn't. a direct... You think the grant.com would be lying? <laughs> I never said that Molly makes you feel happy or sexy, <laughs> but it does. <laughs> so, whatever. Don't do drugs, kids. Exactly. Don't do drugs, please. And Molly is trash now, anyways. Yeah, like, if you're doing Molly now, you're forcing it. And yeah. if you have the good doing Molly, math. then he does it. <laughs> J- J- you J- got B- the old shit. <laughs> JB Podcast. That. <laughs> uh, okay. Well, let's talk about something else. I'm all mad disinterested. Like, I ain't got Molly's. I'm cool. <laughs> <laughs> Molly's so mad because you yeah, spiked that, that, his that, drink. That, no, he didn't spike my drink. Oh, he didn't? I thought no. he put. Have you ever done Molly? I definitely spiked his drink. Yeah. Do you like it? Do you no. just call it Molly? <laughs> what did I say? I'm sorry. That's what Maul called him. <laughs> That's not what I called him. I got Molly's. <laughs> Molly's. <laughs> no. No, fellas. I feel like this whole podcast, we're trying to cancel ourselves. <laughs> yeah, y'all don't get that vibe? It's not a vibe. Y'all, y'all don't get that vibe? It's not no, a cancel I don't vibe. Know. I don't right, get that vibe. Well, let me just get back to my. It's for all of us? <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> all right. All right. The baby. Oh, we're thought. supposed to come back from the commercial break. Oh, I was still trying to come up with a, a period line for dudes. Oh. <laughs> there is If we one. can't say I'm sleepy. That's over for that. And we can't say, yo, I'm just not in the mood right now. So you got diarrhea. That doesn't work. <laughs> diarrhea. That's exactly how you go to bed and wake up with a woman on top of you just doing things to you. <laughs> a cup of Imodium next to you. <laughs> Take these. Yeah. It'll settle your stomach. Yeah. <laughs> just drink a ginger ale, then we can fuck. Yeah, we literally have nothing, though. No, we just get shamed afterwards. Yeah, yeah we get told our dick is little. Women are so toxic, and they will take no accountability for it. That's true. They just shame us when we don't want to fuck. That's or cool. they'll even get in their gay shaming bag and call us gay. No, we sound wow. triggered. We sound triggered. <laughs> <laughs> that's because the world, that's the world that's is scared. That's what dick do to you. Yeah, the world is so scared of women now, so that's what happens. We don't have nothing. We only we ain't even looking for an Mom, excuse. What are your triggers? My triggers? Mm. Not guns. No. <laughs> well, Yo, I, I mean, on a, the weekend I, I keep a, a twenty-two. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I, I got if, a forty. But if there's I beef, got, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I got a deuce, deuce. I bring out. No, 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 no. Not weaponry. <laughs> triggers like internally, like like in your spirit, like. <laughs> What are my triggers? Yo, like long nose, <laughs> long nose, long nose, <laughs> fully auto or semi. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know what my triggers are. I gotta think about that. Parks, what are your triggers? Like in general in life? Yeah. When someone calls me buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his trigger. All right, listen, now I'm kind of with him. The, the yeah, baby. Fuck that. Don't Anytime call you call me buddy and we're not buddies, yeah, we're not buddies. Feel don't away. call me buddy. <laughs> The baby recently <laughs> grew up. <laughs> right before I no, he was grown already. Let's do, let's talk about it. Let's get into it. This Here isn't his false his first altercation, and this uh, wasn't his fault. It wasn't. So, got to get a baby some credit. And man, is that great! He tried to when be the mature. trolls find like finally 
because everyone's so scared to touch the trolls because we know that the trolls will call the cops or sue because that's their point in doing so. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, I hope that gentleman doesn't do that. But it was just so good to see that whole thing pan out. Yeah. The entire time. <laughs> it, it panned out. It panned out. It did pan No, out. it was panned. <laughs> he was panned to the left. <laughs> the funniest shit was the videos homie was putting up after. You ain't see how he was getting into his bag. Oh, wait, no, I didn't see that. Yeah, shades videos. on. He talking about, look, I still look good. He was like, look, ain't no scratch on me. He ain't want to take the shades off. Though. He just kind of moved <laughs> the shades a little bit. He said, look, I still look good. Fam, take them shades off. Did he off. get his pants back on? Yeah, eventually he did. Yeah. <laughs> it was too on Nick Johnny. It was in a place you could buy belts. Yeah. <laughs> do y'all think that, uh, do y'all, and, and I'm, I'm just asking questions. These are not my opinions. Do y'all think that any of this is staged at all? No. No, I don't think that was staged. No. I mean, I don't put anything past the internet, but no, that wasn't staged. I just don't think the baby does I, I, that I shit. I don't think I don't think it was staged. It, was staged. it didn't appear to be staged to me. Um, you know, you know the internet. The internet searchers went back and did their due diligence, and they found all the old videos of homeboy harassing dude and talking shit and clout chasing. Yeah, no, just I saying, oh, you could just tell you from that video. Snitching, nigga shot somebody, never went to jail. Yo, you don't rep Shaw. You can't come by here. I'll make it tough for you. All of that shit. Yeah, got it. Oh, the the kid that got beat up said all that. Yeah, uh. that's why that's why I knew that wasn't staged. But he, even in looking at the video, you can you can tell it's not staged because he, first of all, when he was on the floor, like that wasn't that was real. You can tell homie was in a no, <laughs> was, was it a really, ketchup packet. No, no, he no. was really dazed. He was really like trying to get he his had parents a hard together. Time realizing what was happening yeah, around. That, he didn't so know I knew was. that was real. That yeah. wasn't staged. You ever woke up and thought you was waking up for the start of the day, but it was like eight eight p.m. or some shit. Yeah. One of those for him, or yeah. just being on the road, Wait, waking up, and thinking guys, you're home, and you're yeah. yeah you're the not. video is still on his Instagram. <laughs> the baby, yes, yeah. Why, he's not why, saying, why, why would he take it down? Uh, allegedly, a violent attack occurred. No, he was defending himself. <laughs> he, was defending himself. <laughs> he was defending himself, and I didn't see any. Violent that's why he put it up there like camera. that. Yeah, that's why he put yeah. it up there like that. I didn't know he put it up. I thought someone else. Oh yeah, no, he reposted he, he, it. He he took the Dude. video that homie took on on his page, yeah. mm -hmm. and he put it with the other two videos of the aftermath. Why people keep trying that, man? That's because that's what there's that's, plenty that's, of footage that's, that's, to not say otherwise when it comes to physical actions with him. Yeah. But th that's because people just want to, they want that, att even in him getting his ass whooped, this that? is the most attention he's, he's probably ever had in his life. And he's loving every moment. That's well, sick. that's why my question always becomes what is, what, what is the ultimate resolution when it comes to clout chasing? Because I agree with y'all. Niggas do shit like this to get punched in the face so they could call the police and so they could sue you. I'm pretty sure that we're going to see some of that in the coming days. You're abso sure. absolutely yeah. right. At least a civil suit. So then you beat the brakes off of somebody to where they bleeding and don't know where they at in the mall. And then they just going to go and record some more videos to say some bullshit. Mm -hmm. So what how, what is like the resolve at the end, they just people just want the attention, the eyes and the ears, and then whatever. if I beat the brakes off of you, I'm no longer <clears throat> acknowledging your clout chasing and your videos. No, but um, what I'm saying with him now, he he has all this attention coming to his page. Like I didn't know who I didn't know wasn't looking at his page before that that happened, and I'm pretty sure millions of other people weren't. So now that everybody is looking at him, now he's you know he's gonna try to come with something now, uh, a brand, a, yeah, something, music, yeah, something that's the is other coming. Problem but today, like today, niggas is too too concerned with getting a million people to look at them mm -hmm. rather than getting a million people to look at something. But people would or just rather look at have them with, with nothing else. Just them, look yeah. at just look at me. Yeah, people just want the attention. Just and that that me. term, uh, no press is bad press, is like heightened times a thousand now because people like. We used to be a little not embarrassed, a little embarrassed if you got punched or especially something like that. Now that's that was their goal. That could have been his goal to get beat the fuck up and then put it on his Instagram. No, that was his goal. Like <laughs> he, it's a different he wanted to get into all these kids don't care about snitching. They don't care about who gets beat up. They don't care about how people move. So it's just it's views. Listen, his what I think his goal was. He wanted that attention. He wanted an altercation with the baby. He probably is a little bigger than the baby. <laughs> And he thought that he was going to have himself recording himself he he popping on the baby. the baby. Yeah, he thought he was going to knock him out. So now, yeah, I'm the nigga See, that knocked the baby where, out. That's where I, I totally disagree. <clears throat> and when you watch, because when you watch some of these videos of dudes acting like they want to fight, the first thing I'm looking at is your feet. Mm -hmm. And at no point in that video was that dude's feet ever positioned in fight position, defend myself position, throw a punch position, re or react position. 
his, his feet were not uh they were they were side by side mm -hmm. um, you you going down rather quickly i don't care who's in front of you you don't know how to fight mm -hmm. so i don't think that he thought he was just going to put hands and feet on him i don't think that he yeah. didn't even sound like that in the video he wouldn't go to the register. <laughs> well, no, that's that's what he Yo, come buy your clothes. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, come buy your belt. Yo, come get your belt. I, I, I'm just right here. Yeah. Come purchase your stuff. Yeah. You ain't got to stand over there. Yeah. All right, now I got to go over there. All right, I'm coming over there and now. I know, I know Did he nothing. ever complete his purchase? I think they he can. No, well, he, he, went buy, back. he to buy new clothes after He did go after back. That. Huh. He went back to the store. Yeah, he's recording he security. Like, how many people security's hit me? face said, how many people hit me? Security said two. And then he was like, well, you know, I had to come back, get my belt, because I'm real. Ain't nobody going to do nothing. Yo, where's but what my he belt? Thought, look, what did you think was going to happen? Like, if me and my man is in the store, and my man is a rapper, and somebody's just talking shit, whatever, and... My man, y'all end up. You think I'm not gonna pop on you? Yeah, that's <laughs> you not, bugging. That's We're gonna really fuck you up in here, nigga. <laughs> Straight up, we gonna fuck you up right here in this store. But I, but what you're saying to me is the difference in mentalities between yours and that person. To answer your question, yes, I think that's exactly what they think. I can't tell you how many times a, a kid or just somebody has put a phone up to me to record some shit. I look like I'm disinterested. Now they calling me all types of punks and, and, and bitch ass niggas and now they waiting for me to do something so they could do something. I think I told y'all that when I told y'all a story about that when I was going to get my, my license repaired in New Jersey. Mm -hmm. How after the class a kid was calling me, yo, big fan. Uh, yo, please don't record me now. He's coming around. I'm like, yo, you bitch ass nigga, I fuck you. You in a car? What you think I'm gonna chase the car like I did fucking a few years ago? No, <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. There's anymore. evidence. Not anymore. <laughs> no rocks. That's my behaviors. Shows like, Damn, but no, I, I know nothing about that kid. But <laughs> no rocks in sight. <laughs> <Fucking> <laughs> rocks. <laughs> not on premises. Uh, he could. He could want to do that with the the camera. Do that. Keep a safe distance away. Then do another one when he's away from in the fucking middle of the mall. Yo, ran up on the baby and he was shit, scared. pussy. Yeah, like that, the that same way shit. when they said allegedly uh, six nine went on Chief Keith's block, recorded for ten seconds, then jumped right in the whip at four a.m. and went Nobody away. Nobody else like. Yeah. These clips are four seconds. There's no context, so I could run next to the baby. He might not even hear me. Yo, baby, mad pussy. What's up? I'm out. Mm -hmm. But that video, that's all we know. That's all. Yeah. yeah. So you said Chicago. So Perception. I just want to shout out. G Herbo, who was a little disappointed that I didn't reach out to him uh, when we were in Chicago. And, okay. then, and then I was disappointed that he was disappointed. So <laughs> I want to shout out G Herbo just because no, wasn't, I, I was thought Herb was locked up when we was out there. Nah, nah. He wasn't? Mm -mm. Nah, he was out. Oh, okay, damn. He I said he would have pulled up. up, and that would have been awesome because I really, really fuck with uh, her. But I, I don't know why I don't, I don't reach out to him. Rap, he's, one of the, he's, one of the, he's one of the younger dudes that I like. Yeah, I fuck with Herbo. 100%. 100%. He's, 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 he just, he just his, his way of thinking, his mindset is it. He's very, he was beyond his years. I like the young dudes that are beyond, yeah. beyond their years. Yeah. Um, and that's not to get us off on a sidetrack. What were you saying? You no, just, Chicago, just now, so. everything in context is so easy to get these shits off because we're looking at four seconds. Like, right. You can run up and make someone look pussy very easily by holding your phone up and saying, yo, you pussy, and then we never see anything after that. Right. That's well, why I like this situation because we saw that and then we saw a clip of you on the ground with a bloody nose and your fucking sh white shorts at the, your ankles. <laughs> like, it was great. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. Now, the part that no one is saying is, and we've just been dancing around it, that was the greatest belt commercial that any of us has, has ever seen. <laughs> that was better than Starbucks uh, and Game of Thrones. <laughs> think, honestly, honestly, think, think, just think about it for a second. Actually, I, I read some, I read something a few days ago that said the uh, owner. Don't quote me, please. That's how I get in trouble. But the owner or some big wig over at Mercedes has called it quits after however many years. So the good folks over at BMW did a commercial, and I think I saw this on BMW's page, where they showed homeboys exit meeting, retirement, saying goodbye to everybody, getting in his bins and going home, and then the next day, he's pulling out the garage in a brand new BMW, saying, oh, finally. So, <laughs> the, the, so damn, well, why didn't I tell that story? What was I talking about before that? Uh, Louis. The advertisement oh, for belts. That's what that commercial was. Yeah. It was like one of those. I don't know why nobody's doing it yet. Well, Louie's not going to do it because they don't want uh, black people taking pictures in the store. I'm surprised they even let that fight happen in that store, to be honest with you. Like, well, I don't think that they, fight yeah. would never happen in that. In, I don't in, think in, they in, let it happen. But. That fight security, would never come. Security is, not, security is not there to stop a fight, though. They're there to make sure you're For not theft. stealing any product. Yeah. The security at the Louie store in Garden State Mall 
is my man from Irvington. And if you go in there and play, he going to put one of you niggas down in that store. I don't know what you... That's no, a hood no, nigga no, in no, there. No, no, no. I don't you, know what they're you, doing you, over there. No, you can. If go you that to type fight of, in Paramus. If, if you're that type of dude and that's what you want to jump in, you go can. Go even reach for your but phone that, in Paramus. But that's not even in your job description, though. You don't have to break up no fight in the Louis store. If you're well, in Louis store, the rule, the rule that they don't let... The, first of all, you're not supposed to be able to take pictures. Yeah, correct. And... Uh, you know, they're going to, Louis store is not but so big. So I want to say they're going to watch you, but I'm not saying that to say they're going to profile you. I'm saying the store is not so big. Depending and on which one stores, you customer service, they're just trying to be attentive to your needs. So I was shocked at that. I was just shocked at how that went down, especially, and I was telling Remy yesterday, because that the baby kid seems like such a great guy. Mm-hmm. Not kid, but guy. He seems like such a great cool guy and niggas just keep trying him it seemed like every day of his life he wake up and go outside and somebody try him and now i gotta kill you or punch you in the face during my show why y'all interrupting me during my show mm-hmm. also in the running for song in the summer side note that sugar shit yes yes but that's why i said when I, when, yeah. I, when I when i was uh spoke about the baby a few months ago that's how i met who he was or, or came across him was through the beef shit mm. and I was like, yo, he he one of the hottest. He's probably the hottest nigga out, and this was before the album and all of that. Right. But I could just tell his demeanor, the way he moved, and then I started listening to a bunch of his shit. I'm like, oh, this nigga's dope. Yeah, now, so he caught oh, a nice little pocket on that Funk Flex freestyle. Oh, I see oh, yeah. that. Yeah, he killed that. He nah. smoked that Funk smoked Flex that freestyle. Yeah, he can rap. He a lot of different flows. He killed that. Now, yeah, uh, again, off of the greatest belt commercial that we've ever seen, <laughs> this does speak to the importance. The importance of the belt as just an accessory during a fight. I do not take for granted that the young man was shopping for a belt. He was shop- He knew that he needed a belt. He he like, feel let's, his let's, pants give, to let's give him credit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he went to the mall for a belt. He was going out that night. He was aware. And he couldn't get the belt because the baby was there. And then seconds later, he saw why he needed the belt. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's, yes. that's, that is good advertising. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> when you're short, hit your ankles. Come on, man. Uh, Yo, uh, come on. Every dude has said to himself, all right, well, let me speak to me. Even when Consequence punched me in my face that time. That day, that morning, I put some shoes on and said, hope I don't get into nothing today. Shoes are slippery. <laughs> Got into something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was slippery. You don't plan on that happening. And then you know what you say? I'll never wear slippery <laughs> shoe again. Nope. I'm gonna yeah, be nah, ready. You at gotta all wear time. sneakers on the reunion show. Damn. So now we gotta think about going out beltless. Nah, beltless. you got you gotta keep a belt on, and add a, a quality quality loop on it too. What if can't the just, baby can't just show it and then sag? But the funny yeah. shit wasn't dude's name like Cold Hearted Killer or Cold Hearted <laughs> Cam. I have no idea who that gentleman cold is. Cold Hearted Cam. Cold something. Cold Heart Cam. Cold. I don't know. <laughs> Fam, your name can't be Cold Heart no. Cam, and we don't see signs of he's, a cold heart. He's No Belt Bobby now. Oh, that's that's right. <laughs> no, yeah. No Belt Bobby. That's your name now. <laughs> Yo, what if the baby would have took the belt he bought and whooped his ass with it? <laughs> like while he was laying on oh, the floor. Oh, this, this the one you was oh, feeling? This the one right. you wanted? <laughs> started, started whooping his ass with the belt. You know what else was the funniest part and about? And getting beat with a Louis belt with her in front of the Louis store. <laughs> the dude, the baby's friend that was next to him at the start of the video... Really just looked like he was in there just price checking, hanging out with his man, just having a blast. Because it's like, I don't, he, fam, we're going to hurt you. Yeah, he, that's what he looked like. Yeah, like, just go. So at the Get end, end, when the dude is on the floor, belt, when Beltless Bobby is on the floor, when Bleeding <laughs> Beltless Bobby is on the floor, <laughs> and the baby bleeding is yelling Bruce in belt the phone, Bobby. the funniest part of that video to me is his man in the background just walking on walking with the bags? <laughs> <laughs> like we hey, out, we out. Like we don't got to. We made yeah. our purchase. <laughs> you <laughs> asked for that. Yeah. And we're gone. We, where this we was your, yeah. this was your <laughs> idea. Where, where we parked yeah. that again? Somebody it, text it, valet tell him to bring it, it around. G seven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yo, do I have to buy yo, my ticket first? They had mad other things on their mind yeah. other than beating up cold hearted Cam. Dumbass nigga in the Louis store acting crazy, man. See how one nigga fuck up your whole day? I gotta see the belt he bought. It better be swag. It better be swag. <laughs> it better be swag. We better see it and be like, yeah. He better wear that belt every day. But wait, then on the explanation videos, he said, 
You know what, man? Niggas try to send me to jail. They know I call our cam, give it up. I had the hammer on me. I ain't want to do. No, I ain't want to hurt nobody out there. They knew that already. Fam, we I'm saw like, uh, we saw all your legs, all yeah, where your drawers. Yo, where where yeah. was it at? <laughs> yeah, but don't hey Rory. Let's take this opportunity to give credit to the guy that came up with. I had the hammer on me, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, y'all, y'all. The first, the first person to do the flash dance. The, y'all, y'all, I, like, yo, yeah, I, got, I got it. Y'all hating? I don't know. <laughs> Tell you, y'all hating. That's a that's one of the more creative lines from a guy just trying to get out of the thick of things. You hate? Oh no, I mean, no, I, was, no, I, I respect I got, the line. I got it on me. I got it on me. I got it on me was great until the other person said, "Me too." <laughs> <laughs> me too. Yep. Or the other person didn't say nothing. They just showed you. Yeah, thank you. Don't, don't, don't tell me it's <laughs> no, on no, no, you. No. Now, now I'm now on defense. I'm yeah. And I got to blow your fucking brains out. Right, exactly. Uh, yeah, man. All right, enough about that. Y'all are stupid. That was really funny. You guys had a nice little... What, what's y'all shooting percentage? That was pretty good. None Shout that, out to the baby. None of, that, none of that was written down, man. Please leave him alone. Yeah, Everybody. Please. Everybody, yeah. yeah, that's that's the long and short yeah, of it. Yeah, the baby just trying to. Enjoy he just want to make music and have fun and man. enjoy his day and, and his sh- time out yeah. there and buy clothes in Walmart with his family yeah, just and perform free of violence and gangsters. Shout the baby from going from Walmart to to Louis. Yeah, oh, he's still going to Walmart. Make, making sure. making yeah. his rounds. Yeah, you still got to go to Walmart. You never stop yeah. going yeah. to retail to retail. <laughs> you just go to Louis for the belt. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just for the drip. Yo, remember that phase of hip hop? Everybody tucking their little shirt in so you can see the belt. Remember, Nasty, remember when hip hop thought belts was so important? I, was, yeah. I don't know if that's left. No, it's gone. No, it left. It yeah, left. It's gone. And if, it, if and that's the one thing I appreciate. And any nigga still tucking his shirt in so you can see his belt, you should leave him. <laughs> that's the one thing I do appreciate Rory's uh, generation for. They killed that. They're like, you know what? Fuck belts. Not that important. Yeah, but Rory's generation also gave us wood jewelry. I don't know how I feel about that. Plus uh, <laughs> fanny, pack, fanny packs, too. Yeah. First, no, don't act like you didn't have the wood rosaries in 2009. No. <laughs> that was your generation. No, no, <laughs> that was your era. No, no, you did it too. No, I didn't have no, no wood. No, Everybody's yeah, wrong. Yeah. Yeah, it's, a the bunch of, it's a bunch of y'all out there. I remember you with your boutiques trying to come up off the wood jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> I remember me, yeah. and me and Joel was about to cop one day. The wood jewelry? Yeah, yeah. yeah I was about to give him a wood bracelet. Yeah, nah. <laughs> oh, that was graduating off the Lance Armstrong Live Strong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they need to bring, oh, nah. I forgot what Lance did. Oh, I gave, I gave him two. Sometimes I hit him with two yellow rubber bands. Yeah. Live stronger. Yeah. Got to live the strongest. <laughs> Got to live the strongest out here. Boy, I was saddened by his demise. Yeah. I think nah, Lance we... one of the greatest scammers ever, huh? Ever. Oh, yeah. In the history of the world. <laughs> nah, that, that rosary shit. Him we, and Elvis. We was, we was eight. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> nah, Elvis number one. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, Elvis might be one. Uh, who did we just say was two? Uh, Lance. Lance, 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 Lance is one B. Tell you, who else? Who's three? This is a nice little scammer list uh, we're coming doc, up with. Doctor Phil, I don't think he, I don't think he has a doctorate. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Rory been coming in here with like a, a white, Phil. a white blacklist yeah. of just of just white legends that I'm he's getting killing. Jay Leno to the top, man. Yeah, you hold us down, man. Through my breakup, thank you, Rory. Keep the edge here. I got you. Uh, I'm not going with Doctor uh, Doctor uh, Phil, Phil at th- at three for the he's scammer. Up, he's up there though. Uh, Miss Cleo. Oh, Rest in peace. Cleo's up there. Rest in uh, peace. Who's my guy who I hate on this podcast? Uh, Joel Osteen. He's up there for me. Oh, definitely. I mean, yeah. We got to get a few more pastors yeah. up there. <laughs> Joel Osteen fucks me up because that used to be my guy too, like when I needed motivation. <laughs> That's who you went to? Joel Osteen. He made, he made me feel good in the morning. Where, like, what outlets did you go to? Uh, I don't recall all of that, but okay. I did used to really fuck with him heavy. Uh, it wasn't until... Uh, they had that big shit in Houston where so many people need, needed salvaging and, and housing. And, yeah, and, hurricane, and was he, that, a year ago? He, two was years home, ago? he was home chilling. Didn't want to open <laughs> yo, yo, everything's flooded. Mad people looking in the window. Dog is mad drying there. Fam, your church is glass. <laughs> <laughs> we can see inside of it. Did y'all catch one of the pastor that was arrested for charging uh, people in the church $50 for uh, tickets to heaven? <laughs> now, which which one said God told him he needs a private Wait, jet? He had him for cheap. I got fifty for the heaven ticket. Yo, That's all it took. Yeah, yeah. Man. Man. And I buy your ticket. He got a shit on. Oh, I'm going to heaven with my dudes. You got pluses? That's, that's the guy's trip. <laughs> What's the li- who's on the list? <laughs> the plus one. <laughs> you know how hey. sick you gotta be to be like, I got tickets. Fam, we just paid eight grand for Punta Cana, man. Get us to heaven for the low. Words. 
<laughs> Tickets no to heaven? No more. I did not hear about Yeah, man. I did, I What's the bottle I'm just telling y'all what the passes is doing out here, man. <laughs> To bottle pack you want me to, <laughs> for a fifty dollars ticket. You want me to call cousin Walter and he, definitely so he, buy a so table. he can tell you about his no. thoughts on some of the black churches no, and you. what's happening in the community. No, thank you. And how black churches are the. All right. No, thank you. Right. No, we don't want to talk to cousin Walter. Excuse, no disrespect, because I heard he, he's changed his name. He's not even Walter anymore. And them niggas be having hands, so don't play with Walter. No, no, I'm no more, no issues like, with the, with those dudes. The no, niggas no. that's trying to tell you how to save the world yeah, got nah, hands. I'm cool. Like, chill. Any nigga that's just talking in the train station that long, strange. Got it. Got it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want no problems. He's ready. He's ready. Uh, I'm sorry, dog. That's, that's you two. I'm staying quiet over here. <laughs> no, no, I'm cool. I don't want no, no. I yeah. got nothing to do with this, Walter. I'm going to say this just because I, I watched the news on the news in the last month. Like, the train station has to be one of the worst places for the fight to break out. Because I've seen it go the bad way twice in the last oh, month man. in yeah, New York. Yeah. Yeah. Twice, like, that's regular. Yeah. Anytime after 2 a.m. and it, it get busy down there, someone's <laughs> falling on the tracks. Well, you yeah. Need, yeah, nobody needs to be sad because nobody died. Like, these people escaped, but <laughs> it was suspenseful. Yeah. Niggas fighting on the platform? <laughs> no, they, no, nigga got knocked into the train. Yeah, that's, that happens. But but it was like the slow motion Rocky fight where the guy gets knocked out and you think he should get up, but now he's dragging it. To, <laughs> like that's what it's like. Like he ain't got his legs dude no more. fell in the in the train tracks. Train is coming. He's slow mo getting up. Everybody in the deck is like, get out of there! <laughs> <laughs> dude is snuffed him eating a hot dog. He's chilling. <laughs> Like, New Yorkers are crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. Don't push me on the train tracks and eat a hot dog. Honestly. <laughs> no. yeah, <man>. Honestly, <laughs> like, humanity. My, my bro- <laughs> Fred, don't, humanity. Yeah, no, don't just, what happened to it? No, 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 I'm struggling to get up. You enjoying a subret? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. I got, I got my shoulder leaning on the third rail. <laughs> Ooh, remember that as a kid? That was frightening. The third, the third rail. <laughs> <laughs> The myth of the third rail. <laughs> the park shut the fuck up with his. Uh, enough is so mysterious. No, it park, is. We changed it to an O for you. Oh. Ooh. No, we did O oh. already. O. Oh. Oh. oh, you have to hit him with O. Oh. Oh. The third rail. I know in Buffalo that was there a lot, so you had to worry no. about it. In Elmira, we do not have trains. Yes, I do. I mean, there's trains that go through, but not like for people to get on. No, Amtrak type yeah. of shit. Not, yeah. not subway, no. Yeah. And Amtrak, I think, Man, ain't they above? Look, look at white privilege. <laughs> <laughs> he never had to worry about a third rail. No. <laughs> just walk across the tracks. Yeah, I don't know, but I feel, I feel like privilege. public public buses might be just as scary just to sit on. Public buses get kind of wild. Yeah, we've we've seen footages. Like you stop you've it. never had the back door shutting you. <laughs> that, shit, <laughs> that shit hurt. Now, the only time the the, the the bus is scary is when it's that one nigga that get up. And you know he crazy. Yeah. And he'd be like, I'll fuck everybody up on here. Yeah. He's like, I'm one of everybody that's on here. Like, and you just stare straight. Yeah, like, and I don't. You start reading all the, comer- all the fucking advertisement on the bus. Like, Yo, doctors this more talking yeah, about this week. Yeah, man. Like, I don't yeah. want to. Like, please don't come over here, sir. Like, I do not want to fight a homeless man. Please. Y'all have, y'all, y'all have horror stories about public transportation. No, public transportation in New York City is a whole different world. Yeah. That is a whole. Being on the train late at night is a whole different world. Why yeah. would I be on the train late at night in New York City? Getting home. Yeah, it just happens. Yeah. Getting home. I'm home yeah. already. <laughs> just traveling around the city. I'm not just traveling Fam, around the city. That fuck. And Joe, you probably did a dollar van, dollar cab. In, when Queens. You was in Queens. Yes. That's a whole nother monster. That's, that's Joe Driver, next stop. Yeah. That's the I original. I live 30 minutes from here. No, no, <laughs> I'm man. getting off that no, shit. That's, that's the, the original shit. Uber Pool, my nigga. That's, that's the is. real <laughs> shit. <laughs> that is. That's the original Uber Pool. Yeah, that was Napster. Yeah, dollar van. That was Napster. Hell yeah. <laughs> I saw a video of one dollar van nigga was running from the police. I actually I saw that shit too. The van was full of passes. He was <laughs> no, driving. And then he pulled over and just sprinted out that shit. Oh, shit. I'm like, how you take 12 people on a <laughs> chase with you? Like, dollar van, stop everybody wherever you got to go. You get on that shit enough, start making relationships. All right, bye, Mary. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Driver, you miss Mary. Stop. You started defending people. <laughs> That's nah. just like a different type of camaraderie on the, the Queen's bread. dollar van. Does any other city have that besides New York? Listen, listen. Pro- probably. I, I would think my, so. My brother Steve could catch that Peter Pan from South Carolina and get here for seventeen dollars. Oh yeah, no, yeah, for so, sure. Right, 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 right in nah, Chinatown. Man. And he enjoyed that shit too. I can't do that shit. That shit was a long time. Yeah, I've done a Peter Pan before. You don't too. know rock right bottom yeah. after but, after two shifts, and you in the front seat of the dollar van, and it's already packed. Three is in the back. You in the front seat. Somebody wave, he stops short, he pull up the armrest and look at you. Yeah, moving, three in the front. 
Musty ass per- Oh yeah Never oh, the case Hell no This is never, my stop Never the case <laughs> Three in the front Dollar Gray, vans now Well Gray, two dollars but Greyhound VIP Where's that, where's that? <laughs> sit, sit me on the front get, of the get Greyhound Get my frequent flyer miles up Well that's why the Peter Pan Is more more attractive sometimes Than the Greyhound You get in the Greyhound And now your seven hour trip Take 27 hours Because the Greyhound Moving slow It's, it's stopping for an hour At every stop so, yeah. Why don't the flat. Why don't those buses have TVs in the, in the, in the seat yet because they didn't listen to it. Because it cost $40. Yeah. That <laughs> China bus is still Yeah, but how many $40 <laughs> have they made over the years? A lot. Like, that don't cost much to put TVs in there. They can also, like, air freshen. What is it? What is a stream? <laughs> what is a stream? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Honestly. I wanted to take the bus up to this weekend. Yo, for the, for the amount of times I've it. driven to, like, D.C. or just that 95 trip, I've... 100% of the time seen a Peter Pan bus broken down on the side of 95. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I continue to take those buses I've been on that with bus. not a care in the world. No, honestly, fans out there listening, tell me where else you'll hear the deep dive on the Peter Pan bus. No, <laughs> yeah, honestly. No, for real. And now that I'm 73 minutes in, shout out to our Spotify uh, <laughs> listenership. Shout out to our YouTube viewership. Shout out to everybody listening from work. Shout out to everybody who this podcast helped get through a dark time. Uh, shout out to everybody unemployed. At Duce Palooza, I was spending so much time complaining about all the young fucks that uh, just... Enjoying themselves? Yeah, like having a good time and shit. And so many of the young fucks were coming up to me uh, expressing uh, joy and gratitude about this podcast and ha- it, how it's helped them through the day or through some troubled time in their life. They were all like super, super, the sweetest weirdos. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was like were. you wanted to get angry at them, but they were the nicest people in the world, so you couldn't get mad. The listeners are very nice people. And then I felt like a dick. I'm like, how am I shitting on the young people? And all these young people are walking up to me to say, we really appreciate everything that you guys are doing. Right. Yeah. I appreciate those type of people. Same, same. But I don't, same. it's the ones same. that get too comfortable that I'm just kind of like, fam, oh, you grabbing one, me, you hugging that... me on my back. Like, yo, yeah. I'm like, fam, come on, come on. I don't know you. Like, why you, you want the back me? hug from a stranger? No. Like, you don't, you that don't, that no. and the people but, but, but that, that think they in on the what joke. If you, what if you thought you had a good shot? What? <laughs> Joe, don't play with me. That's because you, Joe, be trying to take shit too far all the time. He read, he read about you on Dick Yo. I'm, I'm just trying to ask if the guy thought you hit a good shot at Duce Palooza. What shot did I hit at Duce Palooza, my nigga? Fuck are you talking about right now? The fuck off of me. Don't touch me, nigga. Shot but wait, a, a shot of, uh, but wait, Duce. what if you shot something in the garbage like nah. the air shot? <laughs> and you wanted Still, to don't touch me. Don't, t- don't touch me, my nigga. Wait, don't touch me. <laughs> wait, yeah, wait, right. so he can't smack your ass. Nah, my nigga. It's no. a good shot at nah, Duce Palooza. Nah. By the way, nah. I love the pod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't even lead hey, with that. He led with the ass smack. <laughs> hey, smack it a nigga nah, on the I'm ass. I'm a podcast fan. Don't worry. <laughs> smack it a nigga on the ass and tell him you love his podcast. <laughs> Yo, you gonna get one of these niggas shot, yo, I'm telling you. Smack y'all, love the pod. Smack. Yo, good topic you brought up the other you day. <laughs> Maul is right, because they be taking the shit and think they in on the joke, and then yeah, do it man. in real life, and be like, wait, we're not friends. Yeah, like, relax. You give can't me, say those jokes to me. Yeah, give me give me a dap, we can do one of these, and keep it moving. You just give them the pound? Yeah, don't. You know, niggas grab the back. Yo, y'all niggas. Yo, fam, fam. fam. <laughs> he gave you he gave a shoulder massage? Yeah, like niggas, but yo, y'all niggas is funny. Might have looked a little tense, nah, bro. fam, don't touch me like that. <laughs> Get off. Yeah, nigga can't come give you a no, shoulder man. massage. <laughs> <laughs> so, nigga, so Duke can't say you, uh, you shot a good shot. Yeah. He can't give you a shoulder he sees massage. How, he sees how stressed your shoulders are. You're sitting nah, in that chair man. for mad hours. What if, you got stre- <laughs> what, what if you look like you got stressed? Let, so let, let it straight here. Let, let the stress stay right where it's at. Where, I want to leave here with the stress where, still dude, where it's come at. Come out tomorrow. Ooh, you look tense. Yeah. I'm Ooh, let <laughs> me see. You got to, do yeah. you feel these knots? Yeah. yeah. Yo, <laughs> yo, ooh, you look like you bleeding now, nigga. He rubbed you look like you bleeding. Rubbing your pressure points ah, yeah, I know. every Wednesday and Saturday. Yeah, you, you look like you bleeding. <laughs> no, <laughs> you no, look like you need no, a bounty. No, Warrior Ma. <laughs> Wait, well, that's fucked up. Then Ma won't let the dude take the stress knots out his back. Come <laughs> on, <laughs> Ma. Crazy out but your you mind. But you gonna stay stressing? That's it. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking touch me. <laughs> what if a girl smacked you in the ass? That was a podcast fan. Don't touch me. Damn. <laughs> what if she was cute? Don't touch me. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yo, you are. Hilarious. Say what's up. Keep keep it moving. Uh-huh. And we had a big ass festival. 
Oh, uh, how do I not have stressed out by driving here? <laughs> ah, you not hip hop? What the fuck is going you on? You got no tribe Whoa, in no, Yeah, I'll, you stay right there. Don't you don't move. I'm not going anywhere. Coming up, <laughs> a dicky up, dicky up review, and uh, stressed out by tribe for music ambiance. <laughs> There we go. Come on, Rory. Get in your Queens roots. <laughs> Come on, Maul. Queens niggas run you niggas. Ask Russell Simmons. You can ask because nobody ever <laughs> asked Russell anything. <laughs> no one hit Russell like, yo. <laughs> no. Yo, I heard some things. No. No, nah, Nas hit Russ. Don't do that. Nas did. <laughs> <laughs> we run shit, right? <laughs> we run shit, right? Yo, let, me know, let me know their deal points. <laughs> yes. We run shit, right? <laughs> we run shit, right? <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Savon. Yeah, no, no, ain't no Savon. <laughs> stress, nigga. Get these stress knots out your back. Ooh, kick it. Come in. Yo. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right. Enough. <laughs> I, did, right. I just want to know. scared? Enough. <laughs> Flashbacks. <laughs> I do want I do want to know, though, like, Cons came on that verse to talk about his stress, and then Tib was like, all right, hold up. Before you start, tell us your name. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself yeah, to the group. Yeah, who, who are you, and why should we care about this stress? That you're going My name is right Consequence, now. and I am stressed. Oh man, yo, something is really wrong with you. All right, what do y'all want to talk about now? I have no idea what we've talked about all eighty minutes thus far. Uh, Molly, excuse me, we've uh, covered Dick Molly Yelp. Dicks. We've covered uh, uh, Meek. Meek in Vegas. We didn't touch that. Take it oh. away, Rory. Segway Kings. I actually just saw a tweet. I didn't really get into the backstory of this one. I just saw Meek was upset with the Vegas casino and said, yo, I bring in mad millions. Suck my dick. I can, I can, I can <laughs> yeah. appreciate that. And me. I kind of felt yeah. him. Yeah. Because yeah. doesn't he have a residency in Vegas? Yo, no? Yo, so misinformed. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought he did. <laughs> so let's, let's rewind for a second. Slow down. Let's break this down. I saved the tweets. I just didn't Fuck the cosmopolitan. <laughs> Bam. R- Rory. And, and I stand with Meek. So don't misinterpret what I'm saying. But he did not say, hey, they didn't let me in and I made millions of dollars for that place. He said, yo, they didn't let me in and I ain't never been here but except for one time at a party that brought in millions of dollars, which is well, very no, different. Well, I, I no, have, I have the, t- the tweets here. Give it to us. Uh, is, it was the Cosmopolitan? Yes. I thought that was a drink. It is a drink. <laughs> it's Lord. a drink as well. And I believe you're, in a magazine, magazine, you're too. Irish, so you know it's a drink. Oh wait! This is a, the casino's named the Cosmopolitan. I was asking. Oh, I thought it was like a magazine party event. It's no, a magazine. It's a hotel. Oh, okay, casino. it's everything. It's a triple entendre. <laughs> All right, Cosmopolitan. 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 This nigga's taking Rory. We told you. <laughs> Give me the phone. <laughs> Give me the phone. I promise. 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 I I rhyme astrotally or whatever that bar is. Socrates and prophecies. <laughs> Mad prophecies. <laughs> we can't define how you be dropping these. <laughs> Mockery. Lyrically. Reading. That nigga had to, yeah. he had the no. word in front of him and no. said some whole other no. shit. He no. said the cosmetology is some what, nigga? Slow down. No. Rory definitely <laughs> lyrically performed armed robbery. <laughs> That is exactly what Rory does. <laughs> Yo, having the word in front of you and yelling some whole and other we, shit. And he flees with the lottery. And we saw him. Possibly. No, <laughs> no, no Rory, got this no. kid in the fiend. Uh, all right, Rory, I'm stressed no out. more Sorry. music for you. All right, give it cosmetology. Right. The cosmetologist uh, issued a statement that it was over capacity at a pool party while I was banned, but told me would be arrested just for stepping on their property, even if I went to eat on their property, quote, not at the pool party, doesn't even make sense. Following tweet, I don't care about that casino. I bring in millions every time my name is mentioned on a Vegas casino event where I am always welcome, but y'all not just going to treat us like shit and act like it's normal. Put some respect on our race, please, and thank you. Oh, Fab has a residency. Fab has one. Uh, I don't want to jump out there and say French has one, but I thought something like that was announced him or Two Chains or somebody. I don't know. Is Drake still going on? Two Chains has one. Two Chains has one. I'm not certain about Drake's. I think the I Migos thought, yeah, had one. I know he had I one. He had one. Yeah. 
I just don't remember. I felt like the long. Migos had one. I think Drake has one too. Lil the, John has one. The more Ve- informed us of that. The Vegas, Vegas residency is is the new is the new bag. The it's new bread in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> React. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Vegas casino, man. What do you expect? We're out. Oh, bye bye. I was gonna say. <laughs> I thought Roy needed a soundtrack. <laughs> I react, you needed Roy, a soundtrack. react. Here's my statement right here. <laughs> I'm Roy. All right, Meek says at the cost. The, all right, Mac, Mac, Mac at the cosmetology. Ma, ma, ma <laughs> all right, come on, Bart. <laughs> Mac. <laughs> Oh man! All right. Uh, what was, what was the party that he was trying to get into? Just and a regular pool the party. Cosmopolitan. All right. See, let's stop right there. And that's where that's where I, that's where I feel for me. We know that Meek is not in in his dressing room with the goons saying, or I mean, or in his hotel with the goons saying, "Let's head over to the Cosmopolitan." Uh, Cosmopolitan. We all know how this works. Mm, he, had, he had some work over there. Mm. Yeah. Somebody. He was. He was oh, told. Oh, to yeah. 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 Let's yeah. not say that. Is, is, what, is Meek in a relationship? Because I won't do that. I don't know, but let's not say that. Uh, okay, we are. This is a you're Erickson. Look at Erickson looking at you. Like, <laughs> like, <"Hey>, pussy. <laughs> uh, all right, this is a podcast, and this is a hypothetical for you guys listening in entertainment and enjoyment. Continue. Let's disclaimer. You know he had like a that. chick over there. Yeah, <laughs> you know he had a chick over there who said, "Yo, it's lit. Come through." And you know Meek wants to come through. Listen to Memorial music. Weekend. But listen to his songs. He says they all gonna come through. Yeah, I think he said that. Yeah. So he came over there, and that is where this all of this intensity came from. Because like y'all not letting me in, and I got work in here, and I'm who I am, and it's all oh, that's a hypothetical. Rory, stop texting the dream chasers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not stop, part stop of this. Stop texting O'Malley. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, this is where I'm conflicted. I agree with him. He's right. I stand with him, and it's fucked up when uh, places and, and companies uh, hide their agenda behind uh, the corporate veil. I mean, uh, the the private veil. This is private grounds, private property. We have the right to not let you do X, Y, Z. We have the right. We have a list in the back that says uh, that, that says names of people who have violated in the past, and that is supposedly the story that he was there for a whole party and somebody else not him got into something there and then they put him on some type of list that they did not make him aware of so that's where the smoke comes from i'm conflicted because yes he's absolutely right and i stand with him on the flip side of that i don't want to go i don't uh, tell me one time i'm not allowed in and then give me a hard time finding out why and i'm leaving that's me i'm not gonna and he's doing the right thing so please don't misinterpret what i'm saying as far as taking legal action uh, and in terms of making it a big thing, especially coming coming off of uh, all of his civil shit that we've been we've been fighting with him. But I'm I don't want to hang out where I'm not wanted, especially in environments like that. So I'm not going to put up a fight to get in. I may still take the legal action, but all of that conversation they was having there after that place had already made their views like kind of known. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll suck my dick, suck my dick, <laughs> suck my dick. No, yeah. now, I now, think that was his stance. Suck my dick, and I'm gonna text Shorty. Yo, when you leave there, hit me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I'm not. I'm not going through this. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, again, this isn't the first time that celebrities or you know artists, hip hop has been banned from hotel and casinos. You know what I mean, it's I know, but I feel like not too many times have we seen a guy say, "You know what? I'm gonna take action," and then we watch him take action. Yeah, and again. I haven't confirmed that there's legal action taking place. I've just been reading things that I've been seeing online. And uh, I, I don't even th- I think Meek was more so looking for explanation why he was. Well, he got an explanation. They lied to him. They, they gave him some bullshit. But that's what I'm that's what I'm saying. So I don't think he was after a while. He was like, cool, I'm I don't I'm not, I don't, don't want to come in at this point. But you got to tell me why you're not letting me in here. Like, what is the what is the reason? And, yeah. I, you know, sometimes that's all you want is like, why? Why am I not being allowed in here? Mm. Yeah. So and, I mean, and, I and you understand. and you should be allowed that information. Yeah, at just all tell time. me why. It's cool. Again, I, I don't again, keep my it, money. But when a place is uh when a place is operating under that privacy rule more, they we don't have to tell you shit. We just telling you we we can tell you that you're not allowed here, and we're calling the police. And it's not very fair. But I've been in that situation. Uh, unfortunately, a lot of black people have been in that situation. Uh, I, I commend him for taking the proper steps to eradicate 
Um, Sorry, man. Listen, Meek, Meek, take your money elsewhere, man. And, and usually it. the people that tell you you're not allowed in don't know why, can't give you those answers. So mm-hmm. now you're arguing with somebody that's like, I, I, my boss told me no, mm-hmm. and their boss told them no. Like, yeah. you arguing with me. And then if you keep I, asking too many questions, then you're going to get like yeah. a visit from like the mob, and you don't want that. Listen, fam, out of bounds. Y'all, y'all will call me before I call y'all. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 that's for sure. Y'all, y'all will want some entertainment in here at some point before I want to go play the slots. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, at the Cosmo. Listen, man, after I saw my first time in Vegas when we went out there and we went to that pool party, yeah. kind of disgusted by Vegas pool parties. <laughs> yeah. I don't yeah. know if I'm running to a Vegas pool party when the water is fucking dirty ass brown I can't even but see but that was the wrong pool party though no but I thought that was the pool party it was years ago they oh, okay. were eating vagina in the dirty yeah. brown pool water like yeah. there was semen, underwater there was semen in that in that yeah. water you could see it <laughs> and my people was in the yo come down to the pool nah, I'm gonna take a shower and not do that <laughs> once, once I saw the staff putting on full like navy seal tech suit <laughs> to go in the water to, to go in the water to get the cups out hazmat <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yo, if you got to put a hazmat outfit to go where I was just eating vagina, then <laughs> like, just sh- shoot me a text. Yeah. yeah. No, just shoot me. How about that? Or, or that. Yeah. Or, or you could do that too. <laughs> um, what else we got? What else? What else? Uh, speaking of uh, fights, we left that the baby fight. This one was rather interesting when I read it or heard it. I cannot confirm. Nothing has been released. But apparently, Whack 100 Game and Blueface's manager went to do Mike Tyson's podcast. I thought uh, Whack was Blueface's manager. No, I just, that's what I just said that. Oh, yeah. they were saying Whack and Blueface's no, manager. No, no, and, okay. no Game and Blueface's manager, Whack 100. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, Sorry. Went to do that. Mike Tyson's podcast, and he put up a post alluding to doing the podcast and, and Mike asking him about his Tupac comments and then things getting a little heated. And a scuffle ensuing. Those were not his words, so please don't say that's what I'm saying. But he alluded to the room getting hot, something happening, and he ended with an altercation between men will stay just that, an altercation between men. Uh, He also said that this was recorded, both audio and video. Uh, And he said, I don't know what they're going to do with that video. And that's just on the clip I heard. Who said that? Whack? Whack. On the on the clip that oh, I oh, so he was able to speak. Actually, where's my? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't see. I don't see Mike, fight with Mike. I don't see Mike doing anything with that footage. I think Mike is in a whole different great space in his life and wants no problems. And putting out that footage, I think, would cause drama that I don't think Mike is interested at yeah. all in anymore. So, how much of a physical? Uh, when you say physical altercation, what do you mean? Like Mike was throwing fists? I would hope <laughs> not. <laughs> Yeah, for everyone's sake. Even I ho- even I hope there wasn't. Mike's what, probably fifty. This this how old he is? Yeah, I'm cool. This is the uh, nah, he's not audio. He was like that nineteen when he came out. So. Uh, Wack talking to his man about what happened. Yeah, man, I went down there and did this motherfucking podcast with my boy Frenchie. You know, he managed Mike Tyson. Okay. So you know, you know, we go, you know, we go back with Mike. You know that, Red? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't think it was no big deal, so I went down there and <clears throat> did the podcast, man. Shit, everything was going smooth, man. And, Shit, he fucked around and, you know, got to talk about, you know, what's this I've been hearing about, you know, the things you've been saying or your opinions about Tupac. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know how that shit go, man. You know, I wasn't even really, really looking ahead at that conversation with him. You know, even though I know he know the real about a lot of shit, but, you know, I know they is real close, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, you know. I mean, red shit, you know, you've been knowing me 20 plus years, man, shit. You know, I'm in there with Mike in this little small ass room. Uh-huh. And shit, I mean, I, you know, I didn't know a motherfucker was going to scratch his head or, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? You know why, right, you know why right, got a quick temper. <laughs> I mean, shit, Brett, that's what I'm saying. Like, you, Red, all the years you've been knowing me, you know, I go first. Oh, yeah, yeah, you, you, man, you don't back down to nobody. So, you get the gist of <laughs> You just got to whip my ass around this motherfucker, man, and shit. Shit got to going one way, going the other way, man, and shit. The rest, shit. <laughs> so <laughs> way where it went. You know what I'm saying? That's so, the- you know, they, <laughs> they recorded all that shit, man. That shit on this podcast. I don't know what they're going to do with that shit. You know and, what I'm saying? But, and, oh, man. That man. is the exact way that black men t- tell stories. 
<laughs> shit, I mean, shit. You know, nigga, shit. You know how I get it, nigga. Shit. But, uh, he said that, and then I had a perfect, clear picture of everything that occurred. <laughs> I, I, I perfectly understood what he was saying. Shit, and then shit, man. Shit. Shit, yeah. I mean, you know. <laughs> but, but, how, you know. but how is the story supposed to go about it? You allegedly fight Mike Tyson. Isn't that exactly how it should go? Fighting Mike Tyson is just insane. Yo, man, I, was, I went to do the podcast. I was talking to Mike, and then, man, shit. 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 And then shit. And then shit. But I don't know what they're going to do with that footage, though. Right? <laughs> Word. Word. Yeah. They go from a bunch of shit to... Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with that footage. They though. kept the fouls. Yeah, I don't know what they're going to do with it. But does it matter? Does it matter? What if Wack beat the shit out of Mike, though? He didn't. Yeah, I'm saying, what, if, what if, though? Like, what if he caught Mike first? Like, oh, Mike wasn't even trying to swing? Well, then I would imagine that, that 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 clip would sound differently. Oh, man. Yeah, if, if I, would not, sound if, if I want to fight against Mike Tyson, I'm not hitting you with shit. I'm, yo, I all, just knocked out Mike Tyson. Yeah, you got to tell it. <laughs> Straight yeah, out. You got to go, tell the whole story. It goes differently. Like, when Buster Douglas went back to the block after that, after oh, the yeah, fight, yeah, yeah. it was different. It went yeah. different. Uh, this story goes exactly how I, ex- I expected to go. Uh, no shame in losing the fight to Mike Tyson. Absolutely not. I certainly no. don't want to fight Mike Tyson. I'm not going to sit on Mike Tyson's podcast if I said something that I thought would uh, provoke that man. Like yeah. I'm, I'm just, I'm just cool. I'm cool. Yeah, no. I'm not fighting. Yeah. But I guess I'm just so jaded. I asked y'all that earlier if y'all thought that the, that the baby shit was real, and I didn't think it was false. But when these stories come up, I would be lying to y'all if I said I didn't think that at all. Like my only question with this is, if that happened, and I get it, you a stand up dude, you and no shame, no no shame here, mm-hmm. but why would you promote Mike Tyson's podcast? And that's just what he did in his <clears> caption. <throat> he added the podcast. That's the only part that made me look at it like. Eh. Well, he probably. I mean, he could be taking it from a stance of he doesn't want to come across like he's upset or salty about what happened. And I mean, he did go there to do the the podcast. Yeah. Something just tr- happened while he was there. They and, got and physical. Even like Cold Cam, fucking Beltless Bobby, whatever his real name is, mm, Bruce Bobby. He he went. He got ahead of that and put out all ten videos before the baby footage came out. Mm-hmm. Yo, okay. we was at the mall. They jumped me. Like he got ahead of it. Yeah. And Wack is Bloody. savvy on the internet when it comes to this type of shit. He's getting He's ahead been of doing it. it for the past three years. Bloody Beltless Bobby. <laughs> Bloody Beltless Bobby. <laughs> Big ball of brand. <laughs> <laughs> He's triple B's. That went down the drain quick. He needed the big ball. Remember when you niggas went? Belt. Remember when you niggas was on on the internet trying to get the uh, big that, ball? Of that wasn't me. Yeah, oh, we just figured out who's number three on the scammer list. Uh, uh, he's up there. They, their partner, whoever that guy was. His, hey, bro- his brother? Hey, Lonzo Ball. <laughs> I think it was his brother. Uh, sign, sign 500 balls real quick and leave. No, no Lonzo Ball's number three on the scammer list. <laughs> Eli did that shit too. <laughs> Eli? Sign, sign 800 You waited in line for at Eli Manning? <laughs> nobody, nobody said nothing because he had Manning, but he tried to get that shit off. Hey, shit, he got rings, though. <laughs> he could do that. So you could be on the scam. You could be on the scammer list if you have rings. Oh, if you win, yeah, you can do whatever you want. You, you're a legend. You want? <laughs> Speaking of, shout out to Cutmaster C who uh, who recently came home. I saw on on the internet. Ten, Cutmaster C. Cutmaster C. Ten wow. years in. Wow. No, I didn't no know telling. Was. Come come home looking great. Shout out to that man, man. Good good for him. Good for him. That's um, great. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Uh, let's see. So, so y'all have anything else to say about WAC 100 versus Mike Tyson? Was that our deep can't, dive? Can't wait to see the footage. Do we believe that this footage is coming out? Honestly, oh, for I, sure. You think so? Yes. Yes. I'm. T- we'll I think. See. I think Mike is really just trying to avoid that shit. Yeah, I think so too. Like avoid I, what? Just that type of stuff. Mike's been part. You can't of- say Mike beat somebody up one day and wants to avoid it the next day. No, nah, like making a spectacle out of it or promoting it. Like they've. He Mike, seems like Mike is in a whole. Yeah, he would space. never want to do that, beating somebody up on his podcast. You mean he, he don't want to show us what he's been doing his entire life? <laughs> this <laughs> motherfucker's been doing Broadway theater. He smiles in every movie. What was he doing before? He's that? The nicest guy ever. What was he doing before that? Yeah, you talk what about is, the. What is, he, Rory, what is he known for? Rory trying to get me, uh, trick me into getting beat up by Mike Tyson. I ain't saying. I ain't trying to, don't try to devil's advocate me into a, a, yeah. a fight. I don't. You want. know what Mike known for? All yeah, that shit's yeah. cool. I'm aware. All that shit you name right it? now. Movies. I, I saw you all the movies. They Vegas. He was dancing yeah. in Hangover. I saw all of that shit hanging. Yeah, all the hangover. You know what I saw before to do that? The Ellen rebrand. You just got to dance. Great. He looks great. You know what I saw before all of that? Him putting niggas out <laughs> <laughs> very, very quickly. Oh, God. That's what I saw, yeah. Those are good old days, boy. Right. Knock him out the box, Rick. Yeah. Knock him out, Rick. <laughs> uh, well, well, Joe's uh, ex-co-star, 
fellow oh, creep so, member, so, creep so, squad. Niggas be scaring me. <laughs> No, no, Joe. <laughs> no, no, I am so scared today. I just miss my family, man. <laughs> Joe, <laughs> listen, man. Cut the shit. Well, uh, Cut the shit. All right, never mind. Forget it. What's up? What's up? Yes, your uh, your ex. Don't say X to me. <laughs> say a different letter. My S. Uh, loving hip hop alum, <laughs> Creep Squad member, uh, Peter Guns is back in the headlines. Creeping. Allegedly, he got an eighteen-year-old. Woman and pregnant. Yep. And loving hip hop is interested again. <laughs> That's all it takes. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm down for that season. <laughs> no. So creep creep squad no. back. Oh, no, no. I've never been a creep squad. Uh, you was an associate. No, I'm not a Jace. Not associate. <laughs> you were like the killer it's army of creep squad creep and associates. Yeah, you wasn't like, like you wasn't I, really a made man, but you was like you hung with them. Yo, I don't like how narratives <laughs> get shaped today. I ain't like Black China doing that Breakfast Club interview and not totally denying that Joe Budden wrote any of those songs. Joe Berg in China. Finally, like she denied, finally he admits like she it. She denied it, but Charlemagne said, no, Joe wrote it, and she wasn't convincing enough with the no. And I was sitting there watching my phone. Like, Come on, fam. Come on. Tell him I didn't write it. You wrote the B hook. I didn't write the B hook. You gave her a word. I didn't again. write the A hook. You wrote the bridge. If I hear a three syllable word in there, I know it was you. <laughs> Definitely. That was way funnier than, than the reaction in this room. <laughs> You don't think Black China has three syllable words in her in no. her repertoire? No, I don't. I'm gonna I'm I'm step out there. No. She has a repertoire. <laughs> no. What it's girl, okay if you like. If, you, if, no, you gonna if, get if, your yeah, ask if, if Rory goes for what girl would it be for? City girls. <laughs> I'm a city boy. No, you're not, no, you're not that swaggy. <laughs> Try to big yourself up to the city girls. Mariah Lynn. <laughs> Yo, first of all, her single was alright. Uh, Roy, Roy, Roy's a slut. <laughs> Yo, that once upon a time I was a hoe record. Yeah, that I'm shit alright. That shit kind of went off. Uh, that shit alright. <laughs> Y'all clowning, wait, but that record was alright. What was it? You a hoe and what? And what? you're not afraid for them to some, know? Some shit. I'm, I'm no, sure. No, no, you wrote some it. Some shit. No, you you some wrote shit. it. Yeah. You done some shit. Yeah. No. <laughs> Say it verbatim, yeah, nigga. You wrote it. You wrote it. Look it up in your oh, notes. Oh, man. Oh, my God. I was a hoe. Oh, you, you lucky parks. Once Wi-Fi upon, taking too long to YouTube this shit. Once go worry was a hoe. <laughs> go Sam, man. <laughs> she right. saved him. All right, come on, Rory. We don't need you to find a Ryland song on your computer. You don't have to YouTube anything. What? Ten, just, 10 million we, views. It's fine. Like, it's fine. Check, yo, check the stats. Check, numbers yeah, don't yeah, lie. Numbers lie. They definitely lie. So what is a stream, though? <laughs> Mariah Lynn has 10 million of them. Oh, Let me hold up, y'all. Let me hold up. <laughs> so you have no inside loving hip hop. Can't give us the scoop. Is he Peter back Guns on the cast? Is, Peter Guns is disgusting. Y'all He's nasty. Disgusting. He's a nasty man. He's a nasty old man. If if these allegations are true and you're 50 getting an 18 year old pregnant, 15, yes, you're a, yeah. you're a yeah. nasty man. Oh, you're a nasty old man. <laughs> if you're 50 getting an 18 year old girl pregnant, you're a nasty man. Let me not laugh too much for people think that I disagree with y'all. Because <laughs> I don't. But, but with that said. I don't disagree with y'all, but look at the judgy boys. <laughs> yeah, you nasty. I don't give a fuck. That's our that's crew? Where, where? Yeah, that's a three No, that's, no that's, that's not the one I didn't hear you, but Maul and Rory, like tag team judged. <laughs> Maul said you nasty. Rory's like, ew, how could you? <laughs> how could you? Peter. <laughs> You're a 50 year old Peter. man. It's <laughs> nasty shit, Yo, man. Look at that. Who? Snigger. Ain't he married? What the fuck is he? What am I missing? Come on, look at what a guy. Does it doesn't matter if he's married? No, it doesn't. Exactly. So but why, it's just why more shit. Asking? It's just more shit on top of his nasty oh ass. Oh my god, the judgy boys. <laughs> Peter Guns. <laughs> uh, all right, Roy, where are you taking me with this? The three of us have nothing to add, so feel like me I when I introduce for, things. I was waiting for you to get like the inside scoop. Tell us what you and Mona was talking about in the group chat with them. It's not. Okay. No, we'll just you guys aren't going to meet at the And Mona's nasty court? if she puts him on for another season with that storyline. Shit. She's disgusting. <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> I don't know what Maul talking about. She's nasty. If she Let me that. find out that somebody that I have or had under contract is doing something like that that I could put on TV <laughs> and exploit. Nah, you don't exploit that man for that. Shit, watch what's about to be exploited. She definitely texts Peter Guns with the eye emoji. That's it. When she's in the news. <laughs> the devil, the devil, <laughs> purple devil emoji. The purple devil. Come home, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> bring, bring a 18 Mina. is too young, though. That's, that's too young. Man. I'm going to figure out a trick to leave this show. 
Peter Guns. <laughs> got to, got Where to, is Lord Tariq I'm, in all of this? I'm a create, I'm a create through it. I'm Lord, Lord Tariq's still rapping. To what? I'm Great. A, I'm a create through it. I'm what? A, I'm finding a way to get out of that shit. Oh. <laughs> oh shit! I had to move to New Zealand. <laughs> Pod took off crazy oh, in Australia. Oh, off with oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! Yo, that yo. was yo, that was today. Wow. <laughs> oh shit! Yo, New Zealand called. <laughs> Yo, they said I gotta come out there immediately. <laughs> New Zealand for the called. next three seasons. Uh, who's the, calling from New Zealand? The whole New Zealand call <laughs> said you. <laughs> oh shit! We love your shit. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> gotta get you out here. New Zealand, <laughs> hip hop New Zealand. All right, what else? What else we got? Let me see. Uh, okay, somehow I just got out of that. Oh, let me shake. Come on, yes, undo. All right, there we go. Uh, all right, do we care about Kidding's home being burglarized for belongings totaling up to 200 or over 200K or something like that? That sucks. I, I didn't it expect y'all to have much to say. Yeah, I, I heard sucks. this story before. California? Yeah. In the hills? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> do Do we think... Well, hold on. Where was Tory Bricks when this allegedly happened? Mm. I'm not going to join in this joke. Tory Bricks is pregnant, so let's not do that anymore. Oh, congratulations. Oh, great for us. There, 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 there we go, all right, that's our show. alibi. Sure. Yeah. In two months, you're going to get these jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Once a baby, you had yeah. it, it's healthy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then we, then we get back to our, our shit. Uh, but yeah, no, she's pregnant, so shout out to her. Uh, but I agree with y'all. Uh, this is this is another day in the life of houses on the hills up there. The hills have eyes. ADT wasn't really working anymore. ADT wasn't working. I don't think I've ever seen. You know how I go. I don't think I've ever seen ADT work either, and I've had it. <laughs> I've had it in mad houses, even houses that have been robbed. <laughs> no, nah, listen, that shit in LA, the, the hills. You know how long it takes police to get up there? That's a good point. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. you, could you could go shopping if you're breaking a nigga house up there. <laughs> you could, like you could try shit on <laughs> before the police get up there. Like, fuck. So y'all got it all mapped out. <laughs> No, I'm just saying that in the hills, like everybody's house gets broken into or some shit happens. Uh, more on his goonies do the hills and then rush to buy bottles at Ducey. <laughs> <laughs> no, came up came up on a lick yeah. this weekend. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I didn't even peep that because they did have four bottles. I didn't peep that. No, we did not have four bottles. What are you talking about? I didn't about? peep it. Yeah. Um, all right, what else is uh, what else is important or unimportant in the universe that we need to discuss and tackle on this fine Wednesday? Oh, there's a uh, documentary that's on Netflix that I think we all should watch. It's uh, it's based on the um the Lion King theme song. Oh, I heard about that. And where it originated from? I'm, yeah. I'm sure racism somewhere. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Fam, um, that's what you want me to do with my lonely time in the house. No, but it seems it, it looks like a really the good Lion documentary. King yeah, theme we'll song that. came from. Yeah, it's um, uh, I'm trying to find the name. That of is the what doc. you watch when you like happy and love. Oh, baby, let's see where the Lion King theme song came from. <laughs> she might. That might. The Lion Peaker Sweeps interest. Tonight, I think is the name. Or, yeah, I think that's a, that sounds familiar. Or remastered the Lion Share. Lion Share. Yeah, y'all breaking this down for me. Oh, yeah, Lion Share. It. Double entendre. Yeah. I see what was going on there. I do want to watch that, though. Yeah. You should watch it. It's, it's, uh, the, the person that originated, that originally recorded that record and that sound created that sound was from a small African village. He was Senegalese or something, yeah. I think, right? And they're saying that that song went on to make so, so many millions and that family was never given a dime. Yeah. And so oh, the, the see, lawyer was fighting for that family. Me? I, I think they, I think no, they I may think have. It's, it's, it looks really don't watch that and get angry. They never gave the guy a fucking dime. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's bad. So now I think like it went to. They only had the case went to court and you know all of that shit and I, I'm not sure if they they settled or whatever but I am gonna watch it. All right, fine, I'm gonna watch it now. Yeah. <laughs> you, 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 you have just sold me that fast and they better get paid at the end of that. Or, yeah, I think it's something that we should watch. Maybe this will bring awareness so they do get paid. I'm um, still waiting on that uh, that uh, Central Park Five uh, Ava DuVernay uh, uh, Netflix doc to come out. Yeah, and I think this yeah, comes out uh, next week or something like that. Uh, I've been talking, uh, speaking really highly on the movie Ma that comes out this Friday. So, and none of this is none of these or this is an ad. The Lion's Share, not to cut you off. That's the name of the it. Lion's mm. Share. Akuna Matata. What on does Netflix. it really mean? Yeah. <laughs> The lion share. Disney made a grip off that though. Oh my god. Still are. <laughs> off yeah. of the Lion the King. Lion the Lion King. King. Theme, theme song, yeah. The theme song. 
Yeah, fuck the movie. Or just the song. Netflix trying to get some shit off because Disney Plus coming. <laughs> yeah. Damn, right. Ooh, let me tell you how the Lion King was made. <laughs> yeah, they say snitching on everybody. Yeah, Yo, they should though, damn it. Yeah. Disney did a lot of shady shit, so. Yeah. All of the successful companies did shady shit. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, no, Go Netflix, Netflix is good, definitely going to get on there. Walt Disney was anti-Semitic Word. press release in the next month. It's coming. A friend of mine pointed out something to me about Disney movies. I think she said every Disney movie is based on a broken family. Yeah, another mother dying. That's not weird. It's very weird. And I thought about that. I'm like, holy shit. Yeah, a, Literally every Disney the movie I would name. That every was single it. movie. Almost. And then you was like, oh yeah? Well, how about every Friday in New York? <laughs> Yeah. It rains. Yeah. <laughs> it does. Matter of fact, let's check the forecast. <laughs> you ain't got to check it more. You know. We already know what it's doing Friday. <laughs> it says sunny 75. Does could it? could change. Uh, it could change. We don't know oh, who wins. You see what they doing to me? They trying to make me. It's raining every Thursday now. Look. <laughs> it's raining Thursday. <laughs> They're not doing anything to Yeah, you. they switched They're it up because I caught on. They switched it up. They switched it up. <laughs> Switched it up because I caught on. Because I caught it. Now it's, it rained last Thursday. It's raining this Thursday. Because the Great Mall yeah. caught on to the weather pattern. I'm crying at switching it up. Yo, they switched it up. on to us. Yeah. They switched Let's it up. Let's throw them off. First they of switched all, it up. I'm crying because if I just picture the movie The Day After Tomorrow, which I've seen at least nine with, times. With Maul? And then I just put Joe only watched that movie trying to figure and, out if he could survive the cold. And then I just put Maul in that with Dennis Quaid or whatever homeboy's name was. Nah, I wouldn't Fam, have been outside. you gonna get your boots froze <laughs> <Nah>. off. <laughs> talking nah, about I something. Been, yo, I yo, it's rain. The participation. Nah. <laughs> All right, nigga. And that's, freeze. Freeze tag. Nah. You're in. Nah. <laughs> in that situation, I would have been right in that yeah. library burning all that shit. Yeah, but that didn't last for so long. Oh. Nah. Wait, that's why I would have died at. Fuck Actually, that. Nah, you, you yeah, I never get the white people. Cop. Let's leave the safety. Fuck that. <laughs> no, I'm staying in the <laughs> they library. Do love the I'm burning the Minus books. 30 degrees outside. When, about, let's yeah, leave. when the yeah. books is done, I'm throwing one of the homies in there. We got to keep <laughs> We got to keep heat coming. Yeah, no, nah, fuck that. <laughs> I would have been ecstatic when they all left. There's only one vending machine in here. <laughs> <That's> about, <laughs> yeah, there's about, here, there's about 750 people in this. No, y'all could go. That's the best idea. I'll lock the doors. For real. This is why. This is why. I do have to go see John Wick because some of these stupid action movies, like, sometimes they'll get you. Like, John Wick 4, I hear there's only, like, three lines in it, and I am going to see it. I am going to see John it. John Wick 4? Three. I, mean, I think it's only in three. I'm about to say what they, I'm sorry. I'm about to say what the but f- they got approved to do four already. That's yeah, why it's I coming. got confused that. But John Wick 3. What's, what is the name of that fucking movie? And it's gotten me every time. What is it? Is it White House Down or one of them shits? One of the movies where they overtook the White House, all the Chinese people came and attacked, and then they got to the Oval Office, they took the president. That's an, oh my God, they made it to the Oval Office. <laughs> Yo, you was excited? Like that bullshit worked on me. Oh, how did they get there? <laughs> it's wow, easy to get to the old. So much security. <laughs> oh, I'm damn. What movie that they had a nerd to have a part two too? They get out of here. <laughs> All right, that's all for the tangent. What are we talking about? <laughs> I don't know. Magic man. Johnson. <laughs> how you feel about Magic? <laughs> I'll tell you right now. <laughs> how do you feel about him? <laughs> how do you feel about him? How you feel about the Lakers organization? In the Lakers didn't realize Magic does not need money. They they didn't put that into the equation when they hired him. He doesn't give. He doesn't care about that job. He doesn't need that job. All right. <laughs> Tell you how I feel about Magic. You ever seen Bruno in, in live? In concert? <laughs> I thought you were about to say something totally different. <laughs> what? Yeah. You ever did, did an eight ball with Bruno Mars? <laughs> no. Cause, yeah, because that's how <laughs> niggas over here be. Nah. Hmm. Have I ever done what? Have you ever seen him in concert? I want to go. I want to see him in concert. I would like to see that too. I want to see him in concert. Um, uh, no, I don't really go to concerts like that, so I haven't seen him. But I would. I would. He's somebody I would see. Yeah, he could definitely give you an hour of fucking of hits. Of hits. <laughs> wait, Trey didn't give you the thirty minutes. Listen, oh, I was waiting for y'all oh, to do the joke. Oh, like, wait. wait a second, boy. It, it, was, it was up there with y'all <laughs> hanging, and no one it took the right joke. There. I took yeah, it. I took right. it. It was there. I'm over there on the third floor trying to be the daredevil and protect everybody and do say palooza and make sure they can have a great Zookeeper. time. Zookeeper. Zookeeper. 
get a text from the roar, the human roarch. All right, here comes a lot. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get a text from my friend. Pull my phone out on a hot sunny day. A hot sunny day. <laughs> here come, it was hot out here. Here come roar Roll. talking about some. Hey, Trey Songs is here. If you want to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-mm. That's it, Rory. If you check this out, <laughs> <laughs> I don't Mm-mm. give a flying fuck about. That's your man, though. That is your guy. See, how, see, that, see how phony you are. That's that not your is, man. But just, you was just laughing with me. No, I'm just and saying. He said one thing, and now you, you on his the side. I gotta God. give. You got a point. You know, I, I, I get the joke. First of all, he scored. Yo, all right, he scored. So, so Ferg, Ferg was with, there. He's carried with the shot. <laughs> he scored. He scored. <laughs> Ferg, Ferg was there. I know Joe and Ferg not to be friends, so I didn't tell Joe that. But I know him Wait, and Trey to be close. Me and Ferg are friends. I don't know any history of you and Ferg. I know you and Trey are friends. So I say, yo, Trey over here, if you want to say what mean? up. What do you mean? What are you, the Mr. Me and Ferg picture on Halloween when I was Batman? <laughs> yes. I, I, I was Batman one. with Ferg. You were not Batman. <laughs> I missed that one. I was, I was Joe to... <laughs> Wayne. Like Bruce Wayne. I had the mask on. Joe Wayne. I was Batman. Did you have a cape? I never seen Batman wear I didn't have jeans. A cape on. I had jeans on. <laughs> I never seen Batman wear jeans. <laughs> what, was Ferg? what was Ferg? Anyway. Ferg? No, he's uh, Mike Tyson. He was Ferg. <laughs> he was just Ferg. <laughs> Yeah, he said he was just dressed down for her that day. <laughs> dressed down <laughs> so for her. you fly than me. Uh, well, yeah, why does Magic keep on being on TV? Because it's the rollout. So baffled and confused. Look at Stephen A. Stephen A. looked disgusted with Magic. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get these numbers, though. Uh, well, what were we talking about just now? Something that was in... Uh, Trey and... Uh, All right, no, no, I'm just, yeah, sure. just making a joke. That was the end of my, end of my joke. I don't think we're talking about anything important. Yeah. We're, we're never talking about anything important. It's, it's well, no, okay. this is this is important. And we you are. Got, oh got, yeah, you got something important. Uh, we got a mallism. Hey, it's just something that I, I just caught my eye. No, and it's, I love that things catch malls' eyes. Yeah, this this caught my eye. I, it was entertaining. <laughs> it, it was funny. I don't know how true it is, but they went into depth. So it's a, it's I don't a, know how true it is. I don't. I didn't. I didn't. But you're, they, you went didn't into, they went into didn't depth. Check. No, I didn't. I didn't check any of this. <laughs> they went into depth about it. Yeah. Um, they, they, they asked G what happened. Look, so it's a it's it's a, it's a page on Instagram called Hip Hop Numbers, and I guess I they, know that page. They break down hip hop by the numbers, yeah. like sales. No, just like, all the numbers, like the word, like the oh. songs. Oh, uh, meaning what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you. Oh, so they you. say uh, this post was about Rob Markman. Rob, we all know Rob. Shout out cool to Rob. Dude. Shout out to Rob. So it says, I've been sleeping on the rap career of Rob Markman. Mm. Okay. It's too late at the wake. I'm guessing that was a, an album of his or I think he yeah. has a this project. Project. project that he just put out. So he says uh, the page broke down, I guess, that project. That project has 4,107 mm. words. Mm. Mad words. That's it's wrong, words. it's one thousand two hundred and ninety-two oh, unique come, words. Come on, Ooh, mad, Socrates, philosophy, mad, mad uniqueness. Thirty-one point five. What makes percent, a unique word though? No, they break all of this down. Okay. Thirty-one point five percent of words he spits are unique. Wait, hold up, mm, Mom. Did, did they judge what's unique? Fam, I'm just telling you, hip hop numbers. Rory is hating because he can't get the jewels off. You dudes is too soft. Look. My fault with you all. <laughs> they about to break that down. Look. My fault. He has twenty <laughs> verses. So. 20 yeah. verses, 458 bars, mm. 22.9% of, of 22.9 bars per verse, 5,360 syllables. Mm. They would have a fucking 412 field day syllables with per track. Any, uner- any unique word percent over 30 is impressive. Well, everyone knows that. Rob is at 31.5. Like I'm gonna rub your ass in the moon. Then it says, as a comparison, here are some unique word percentages from artists in 2018 and 2019. Guess who leads the most unique word percentages in 2018 to 2019? Logic. Not Joe. Mm-mm. Pat Poos, 35.3%. Mm, Pat Poos. Engineered by Parks. True story. Uh, Number two. Mr. Mackey himself. Joel Ortiz, 35.1%. Quick. Uh, Mr. Ortiz himself. Engineered by Parks. <laughs> number, number three. <laughs> two, two, two for two so far. <laughs> number, number three, E40, 33.2%. I've never, I've never worked with no. E40. Number four. Oh, you ain't got the drill. The Bay Parks would. You yeah, never guess yeah. who has the most unique. Jeezy. But what would the Bay Parks wear? Jeezy. Jeezy. <laughs> he wouldn't wear the Levi's. He right? look like Jeezy. 
You'll never guess who. who <laughs> wait, oh, shit. wait, Bay Area Parks. It's <laughs> Jeezy. Jeezy. Yes. All right, what happened, Maul? What happened? What is, what's next on your little <laughs> Maul at least average report? <laughs> Number four. Maul soldiers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Number four. Yeah, on Maul the, thinks it's interesting. Uh, no, this shit is. Look, it's <laughs> Maul, our podcast this is, who's is the number four? one podcast. Listen, number four. <laughs> Why are you telling is us this bullshit? Eminem. Cutting up Parks. 32.5%. Parks and Freak. Yeah. And, and number, five, that. number five is J.I.D. 30.8%. He, no, he huh? talked a lot. Dude. It's a good, and then he they say they ended with it's a good measure of vocabulary, a huge part of MCN. More unique words equals less repetition. Rob Markman can spit. All right, Rob. Now, why did that. you just give us that dissertation? Because there's a page that's breaking down songs <laughs> and percentages of unique words being used. I didn't even understand what the unique word thing was. You know, it's funny. You go into this page, but it's kind of it's, 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 there's another one of those pages. Who uh, and I forgot their name right now, but I follow them. I fuck with them, and they've been catching a hard time because they be shitting on Fab. Uh, so, oh. pe- so people say DJ Booth, and I fuck with, I fuck with people heavy over at DJ Booth. They're like the only people that like really write shit. But I'm I can't roll with y'all, man. Y'all been slandering Fab for a week. Stop it. But is what it, they kill Fab for? But only <laughs> they said Fab doesn't have one classic album, one classic yeah. mystery. And, Fab but, fucking but sucks. Why, fucking well, mixtapes. Mixtape. But slow down. For why sure. is why is that? If they, if they said Fab couldn't fill a, a 500 person venue. I was like, all right, y'all are fucking wilding right yeah. now. I didn't see that. I didn't see That's that. That's bugged out. They said that. I'm 99 percent sure. DJ Booth did five. not say that they that Fab can't fill a 500 person venue, and he I has a residency in fucking Vegas. But that's what we do here on this podcast. Well, we love to. I can see them saying that. But all I'm saying is, why is it hate to say that you don't think someone has a classic album? Oh, no, that wasn't hate. When they tweeted that, I was like, all right, that's your opinion. That's fine. I wasn't mad at that at all. It was just when they continued, when it caught steam <laughs> and got down to like, the war like, shot, like <laughs> SOB shots. Well, I was it caught like, steam because all, right. all the Brooklyn people started attacking poor DJ Booth. I think I blocked them one time. They, they wrote some. DJ ridic- Booth? Yeah, they wrote, wrote a ridiculous article a while back. I don't remember what it was about. About aging rappers or some shit like Y'all that. Hate, man. Like, yeah, that they're the best outlet when it comes to writing. Sometimes I've seen a couple like uh, articles where they dipped real low, and it's like, eh, I don't like that shit. They wrote an article about me one time. Now I was like, come on, I fuck with y'all more than more than that. Like you uh-huh. called me, <laughs> but I also tried to hire DJ Booth. So you tried to hire them. Mm-hmm. For what? I think. Well, it's one person. I think. Yeah. And, well, well, they got a couple writers over there. Well, I don't know. I was talking to one person. So, okay. Yeah, I, I did try, try to hire him, but I forgot what happened. I think he was working for Title at the time, uh. and I was like, Ugh, "Streaming wars. <laughs> let, me, let me back up. <laughs> what are they this worth? <sighs> Parks. Listen, trying to get to the bottom of it. Listen, man, that's what we're here for. Yeah. Um. Uh. On to more uh, heartbreaking, heart heartbreaking news. Even though they, that might have been off the mic that we were talking about. Uh, some more cop bullshit going on. But I saw a real unfun- uh, unfortunate story unfolding out of Atlanta uh, during a pool party where someone got tossed in uh, and they drowned and died. They were in there for apparently 20 minutes. Damn. Yeah. Wait, so they... They okay. were thrown in They were thrown in the pool party. Okay, they were thrown into the pool. And I wasn't there. Please don't quote me. I'm, I'm just going off of things that I've read, trying to be informed. So the person was thrown into the pool? Thrown into the pool, yes. And, and, you know, and people, they didn't see him come up and they left him down there for 20 minutes? Yeah, and he died. What? And by the time they found him, it was 20 minutes later, tried CPR, didn't work. What do you mean away. found him? Like, it's a pool. You say that, but I very I, I very easily can see it happening. I can't. Shit, at the last pool party we did, I almost drowned and died. No, you wouldn't have drowned. I'm telling you that I almost drowned and died. You wouldn't have. No, nah, we would have got you. Though. Like it was, it's enough people sitting there that was watching you. You was and, not going to. And drive. that is why stories like this go like this. Our pool twenty bar. minutes, Joe. No, it so, no. I don't think it takes twenty. It wouldn't take twenty minutes for me to drown. Let, let me be clear. But what man. I'm saying is, if you, if we had a pool party, right. I'm just trying to understand. Which we did. I'm not being sensitive. Yeah. And we throw somebody in the pool. Yeah. Well, cool. we stop doing. We those laugh, things. whatever, whatever. We're still looking at the water. Right. That's us. And if he doesn't come up, like you're like, what is he doing? That is us. Somebody's gonna what jump in. Do? What is he doing down if there? Yeah, somebody's people, gonna. You can see if somebody's trying to is drowning. If a you group can tell. of people throw someone in a pool, and let's say the scenario exists where they don't know that person, you're just at a pool party having fun, <laughs> so they don't know that that person still is people swim. around. People are looking Everybody at the pool. Everybody at a pool party. Let me go back to my story real quick, and then let's fast forward to this. Uh, our our pool party that I th- that uh, I threw last year when it rained, right? 
what people didn't know is before that there was uh my the bottom of my pool was painted before we opened it we painted it and after they painted it they put some type of shiny whatever they put down there yeah. <clears throat> that to me anyway made the bottom of the pool real slippery yeah so and then there's that slope in the in the middle of the pool where it goes from five feet to what I feel like is eight feet drastically in my pool. Uh-huh. So I was in the water on the five feet side, just bullshitting around, tippy toeing, throwing the volleyball to my little brother or some shit, tippy toeing, tippy toe slipped on the slippery bottom mm-hmm. of the pool. And now I'm underwater floating and I can't, I, I mean, not floating, I'm just underwater and, and nobody knows I'm underwater and I can't swim. And that those four seconds felt like a lifetime. And it wasn't until Buck Stallion, who happens to be a lifeguard, happens to be a lifetime, a uh, lifelong friend of mine, was right there. He knows that I can't swim. Mm. Uh, so he came over there and he grabbed me. And we were all able to laugh about it, saying, yo, I almost died, what the fuck? But I was a little traumatized from that, saying, wow, I threw this pool party. I invited a million people here, and just that fast, in a millisecond, things can change and shit can go wrong. And I wouldn't have had anybody to blame but myself, because it's nobody's job. Well, that's why they say you shouldn't have a pool party without having a lifeguard present at all times. But I had a lifeguard. Some sexy white lady. It's probably preoccupied. (laughs) But So that's what I'm saying, Maul. What I'm saying is, it, I could I could think of a million scenarios in which people would be at a party and not necessarily know that somebody is underwater, especially somebody who. Yeah, can't but if swim. we throw somebody yeah. in the pool, well, that's different. We shouldn't play them games. Yeah. yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I can't see us or throwing, throwing somebody in the pool and then like take. walking away from the pool, not realizing oh he didn't come up yet. That's just not. I don't even understand how that well, happens. That's, that's us, but you could see some people partying and maybe too many vices or not paying the most attention, or you could just come up with these scenarios where and we don't have to because it happened. Right. Like they did that. Yeah, that's crazy. So I only bring it up to say, please be mindful while while you're partying. Uh, And know who you're throwing. If somebody can't swim, like, don't play that And listen, you really should have. Throw them in the shallow end, please. And you should have a lifeguard. You should have a lifeguard present at all pool parties. Who's nasty ringer is that? Tell me. Tell me. It's Savon. Me, nigga. <laughs> Mo, you are too cool for that to be your ringer. He's eclectic. There you go. That's the word. That's an eclectic ringer, yeah. Well, I'm going to block that. I think I changed that because everybody has the same regular ringer. Yeah. So if somebody iPhone goes up, everybody's different. looking at their phone. I've never had I think that's why I did that. Well, mine's in law and order. Oh, yeah. No, you Nobody has oh, that. My phone is on vibrate and all you, the time. And yours shouldn't. Yours, I mean, you just shouldn't have to. I know it was my phone. Uh, what were we just talking about just now? Oh, lifeguard pool, pool at all times. Listen, I know we I know we from the hood. Yeah, I think that's important. With the beginning of summer, it's going to be a lot of summertime fun. You know, people act stupid in the summer. I do think it's important that we use our platform responsibly. Yo, and by, and by lifeguard... We from the hood, so I know we're not all going to go through the uh, proper protocol to get a licensed or whatever uh, lifeguard. But I just mean somebody whose job it is to watch the pool at all times, who can swim and is quick and who might be able to save a life. And can stay somewhat sober. Yes, that, that can be a friend of yours. Uh, that could be your man that you give a couple dollars to on the side. But uh, trust me, it is well worth it. Too many mistakes happen around that pool. Um, and you can look this up. Even uh, even when I was getting prepared for the summer, uh, sending my conversations then were, all right, baby, by the pool, uh, let's 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 gear up for that. You already know what happens. A uh, whole lot of deaths happen with babies by the pools just from somebody not looking yeah, for a second. The, you you just got to pay a lot. Just got to pay a lot of attention to things like that, man. So mm-hmm. uh, prayers and condolences to the gentleman that lost his life. Uh, and anybody who knows him is a uh, friend of his or a family member of his. Please be careful while you're having your summertime fun out there. Yeah. Uh, didn't want to sump, fuck the mood up. What, what else we got? What else we got? What else is happening? Uh, we have Iggy Azalea, right? Yes. Iggy Azalea's nudes were apparently leaked or released from a GQ photo shoot that she did and I'm, I only know this because she went on to explain that she did a photo shoot for for GQ they've they've done a lot of those shoots that never never once did she think that some of the outtakes would be posted or leaked very reputable magazine so forth and so on you understand uh, she says that she's taking legal action um, good for her yeah she should that's, that's well, what I, I got I honestly here. didn't even know what happened until she addressed it but 
I saw some images on the timeline. I saw okay. some images and I wasn't sure where they came from or or why, and then I understood. Yeah, gotcha. So I mean, there's nothing, nothing for me to say about that. Uh, I'm you y'all know how we feel about that. Never, yeah. I'm never. We're never for women nudes being leaked. Yeah, that's 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 super held corny. over their head. It's just any anything like that. Super corny. Call Lisa Bloom. Let's figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> y'all see the pics? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I didn't see them. Uh, the pics I saw were black and white, uh, and they looked like somebody was attempting to take a good shot. They were definitely. It wasn't that. like uh, like a camera yeah, phone. It was professionally they shot. A boyfriend. Oh, yeah. so she's saying the sh- the pictures from that shoot were leaked. Correct. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The the outtakes. Yeah. Uh, the, ph- the photographer even said that he had nothing to do with the leak, which now it's like who. Everything is in computers now. It's easy yeah. to hack. Those I mean, hard those hard drives go through a lot of hands. Yeah, but a photographer's hard drive. You imagine going through all them photos to find the Iggy nudes. Yeah. Somebody's yes. paying you for it. Going through. Well, no, because the company, no, 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 the company owns don't. all those images, so they get that. They get all the files. Right. They own it. It sounds like the case of like maybe a super super fan or a stalker, nasty somebody trying to get in their freaky bag. Yeah, Nick Young. But I mean, going through like if you go into a photographer, <laughs> <laughs> I know your work when I see it, Nick. Come on. Come on. Nick, you dirty, dirty <laughs> devil, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, that's what they do. <laughs> you too old like y'all. That's my nigga. Your guys are hilarious. <laughs> Niggas my nigga. You dirty devil. Now that's my friend. That's my guy. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything on that. Uh, I hope it works out. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. Uh, I'm just yeah, addressing because it, it was there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, somehow, I think that that might be everything on a very slow news week. Uh, again, I want to apologize to anybody who may have been offended during any uh, during anything that was said last podcast about Kawhi. Nothing but the utmost respect to him, his family, and good luck to him in the finals. Don't need any of this negative Yeah, Kawhi, we fuck with you over here, man. No yeah, disrespect. Yeah, the Toronto dudes, oh, when I see Joe, I'm going to smack the shit out of him. I'm like, relax, relax, relax. Wait, so people from Toronto was saying that? Yeah. Kawhi yeah. ain't going to even beat it. Oh, you know what? Let me shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Let me oh, they're going to get more mad about that. You better saying, be quiet. Man, relax. <laughs> Uh, all right, so what? coming up, we've got a uh, brand new music for you to check out. Uh, that's everything, right? Is there anything I'm forgetting? Anything coming up during the week that y'all want to touch on? We're on tour. Anything that we everything's missed? sold out. right? Yes, yeah. we are on tour. Everything is sold out. I, I think in... I think Roots. You could probably still get tickets to pick a festival. No, they're sold out. Are they really? A friend that tried to go here. Oh, she Yo, sold out. Some, all right. Well, awesome. Yeah. Somebody said that we might be on the podcast stage at the Roots picnic at the same time that her is on stage performing. And if that happens, then the Parks podcast <laughs> will still be taking place. Yes. Uh, actually, the Save On yeah. uh, Need to Know podcast. <laughs> hey, so it's a hey, hey, hey. fan as well. Yeah, as I, is my I, girlfriend. So Her is performing the same time we are? Joe, yeah, like, Joe will oh, ain't be right. We're we going to be potting for nobody. <laughs> nobody <gonna> be, <laughs> I'm not going to be potting. Oh, okay. I no. will be in front of her, <laughs> looking at we her. We can pot from like side stage, maybe. Listening to her. Yeah. We can do live commentary of the Her show. Yeah. I'm going to be in the crowd. Would you fold? Focus on. <laughs> She's a great live when performer, a, too. When, a, when yeah. a dude hit it in the tenor, would you focus on <laughs> That's small. me? That's small job. Yeah, yeah I'm all the first tenor. Yeah. Yes, and the first chair. First, yeah. first, 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 first chair. He's the first chair. He's the first first chair. I was telling first you I was the first tenor. That's it. I didn't have the first chair. I think the first tenor and the first alto. No. First chair. <laughs> You're the first, first both. Tenor. First both. <laughs> first, Puberty hit. He gets two chairs? More the first choir. Oh, he's two chairs. He's two chairs. I'm not two chairs, guys. How do we know? Because I'm not... Right. <laughs> Just not. Uh, all right, so let's get into sleepers, man. I'm going to play this. Oh, wait. No, we're in D.C. tomorrow on Thursday. We are in Thursday. We're in D.C. Friday. We are in Boston. Saturday, we end things in Philadelphia at the Roots Picnic. Shout out to everybody who will be there, who will be performing. Uh, how do y'all feel about the tour like ending? Like, it's over. June 1st. This started however many months back. The first time that Ian showed Wait, me you a don't schedule. have another show No, it? nigga. It's over. No. <laughs> Are you going home? Tour money is over. Hope you're saved. <laughs> yo, yo, we not hitting Portland? <laughs> I thought we had Seattle on the, on, on, on the thing. No snitch. <laughs> oh, you just said it was over. The fuck? What you want me to do? You just said it was oh, over. I want you to not anger the Seattle fans who I promised to show to. <laughs> Don't you just pop up. Mill Mall just ruins all your yeah, hard where, work. Where's, where's our Vegas residency, huh? That's a good point. Where's our pod res? It's not there. <laughs> it's not in Vegas? No, no, no. It's in Queens. I have to continue to work. Yeah, where is it? Do some work. Park's house. I could probably get you booked at the big uh, casino in Queens. <laughs> That's a violent one. Remember when they opened Wet Willies for three hours there? <laughs> Wasn't Yo, anybody who ever invited me to that casino to chill was a killer. <laughs> yeah, no, that is a violent fucking casino. 
Like, sorry, buddy. Blackjack with killers. Not the move for me. <laughs> nah. I'm, I'm cool. going home. Going Told y'all we was, we was in Detroit. Niggas <laughs> was hitting at that crap table and looked up. <laughs> Fuck these dice, nigga. We getting out of here. <laughs> You can't be up 10 bands with killers standing around you. No. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's how, that's how I know I'm old. Because my uh, I'm Going Home toolbox got is at least 90 lines in there now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, when you're 38, all your reasons for I'm Going Home and methods of communicating that. Oh, no. Nah, you're not. Oh, my God. Crazy. Oh, no. Nah, you didn't get past that yet? Now, you just, I just leave. I don't tell nobody I'm leaving. Oh, you do the Irish. The yeah. Irish goodbye. Oh, you saying leave. You're not understanding me. I'm talking about I'm not even meeting up with you. Oh, because... oh yeah, but that too. That too. Damn, yo, yo I'm stomped, boy. Where to go? Yeah. <laughs> Home? Yeah. Home. And then when you start Sounds thinking about, about it right? like that, you're like, fam. It costs too much money to be out. It's true. It's too that expensive. Is true. It it's does. true. That is very true. It is true. It's like as soon it as is... you leave the crib, negative 300. Easy. Yo, God damn, I just left the house. Yeah. Fuck that Word negative, Uber low nah, might be a bug negative, negative 300 before you leave It depends on how many Cam soda tokens You done <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Just bitch, to get ready for the night It's gonna make you Get 100 tokens You warm up <laughs> nah, but You get, you get free wild. with it You get 100 Smart, free With though. your first sign up so Smart, Get that thing out accounts. Before you go out in public Listen, Might make some bad decisions I just told <laughs> You know why I don't Get the Cam soda thing you don't have tokens Cause porn is free Like But it's not interactive Instructive porn is not free There's Cam soda clips On free porn sites Yeah but you didn't tell her To do that Yes, Tell her instructive, to do that. directive. It's you and 900 other nasty niggas like, put your fist in it. Like, <laughs> oh, I, I was the well, one, well, that was well, my well, comment. Well, 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 that's what separates me from the rest of the goonies in there. You got the private room? You something yeah, romantic? I'm telling her to do like gentleman shit. Like, hey, just, Open the door for me. Just, just, just. <laughs> Hey, Parks. Hey, Parks. That was fucking funny. I got to give you your props. That was hilarious. Y'all not sick of Parks open, being... Y'all, open the door. But y'all not sick of Parks being funny for a grand total of 30 seconds all podcast and having the no, biggest fan it. group it's in gold. the world. I love it. I love it. His quick little one-liners and he's signing for I the next it, two man. hours and I he eats. I mean, no, I fuck that. I I, I've had enough. The hate is strong no, no, coming I from this more, section of the couch. Yeah. I need more than one line. I need to put some sage on that cushion right there. Yeah, I start saging yeah, yeah, jokes. You do. I do need to be Damn. saged. The person Yo, that, who's saging is gone. Open the door. Yeah, I mean, you can't sage yourself. I can't. Tell the I can't be the Cam Soda saging. to open the door. <laughs> <laughs> That's some funny shit. Because you got to think about her reaction. Yeah, wait, like, you going to sip some water? <laughs> He's going to get something to drink while you laugh, right? Open the door. <laughs> I heard him. Oh, enough of this camp You got a sleeper song? Like a yeah, song? no. I'm so a sleeper song is something that a lot of people may not yeah. know about. But, <laughs> but you... <laughs> I got someone you want to maybe want right. to put on the platform? Yeah, yeah, Give yeah. Give it some shine? Yeah, 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 yeah. En enough of you guys. Oh, shout out to Blue. This was great. This was great, gentlemen. I want to thank you guys for, for showing up and <clears throat> another valiant effort. <laughs> Thank you. Valley. You ready to do four more this week? Valiant. Yeah, right? Uh, no. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I am too. This, this is the last week of that. Do remember that we are going on vacation. There will not be a podcast after June. I don't know. I think it was 12th, something like June that. June 12th. After that Tuesday, whatever Tuesday that is, June twelfth, um, we're going down. We're going. We're going dark. We will see you guys when we return. Uh, until then, life is a series of moments, and moments pass. I really hope that that's the truth. Good Lord, see y'all be thinking these prayers just words. Uh, life is a series <laughs> of moments, and moments pass. So let's make this one last, as if it's all we have. Until the next time. Farewell, adios. Redfish, bluefish. Oh, I thought, 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 thought I told you you weren't allowed in the goodbyes. Uh, until the next time, <laughs> adios, arrivederci, farewell, hasta la vista, so long, goodbye, deuces, one. No, no, no. No, I kind of like that one. Dude, <laughs> Rory, Rory and Maul, you guys are not allowed it during deuces the outro. Deuce. I'm going to do the outro to the podcast. All right. All right. So talk to you guys another time. Goodbye.